And then of course with the whole content, with the tech team training, he kind of lost the thing that really fulfilled him, like making music. And so he decided to try to focus on the thing that made him happy before. The only reason I met was at Swiss Beatbox was because of Melox. Really? Really? Yeah. Maybe otherwise I wouldn't have been too much yeah. into beatbox. Mm. 1 a.m. 1, 1 or 2 a.m. Like in the night. In the night. I'm singing my heart out. My heart. My neighbor was knocking like at the at the floor, you know, like. I know, I'm not sure at the moment if I will ever compete. Yeah, it really also like made me reflect on battling and how senseless. I mean, for everyone, it's a lot of fun mm -hmm. to battle and be on stage and like do this and win a battle is cool, but the whole preparation is goes into the whole psychology. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Beatbox family? Welcome to Beatbox Bros. Today we're gonna talk to Shazam. But first of all, how are you doing, Maddox? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> wow. I'm good. New new I'm things. Good. Trying new things out. Be out making the intro now. Yeah, 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 yeah. How how did I do for the first time, guys? Uh, <laughs> comment down below. It was quick, um, quick and easy, bro. It's good. Yeah. Yeah, what, what happened the last couple of weeks? Did you do anything beatbox related? So last week we didn't have a podcast. Sorry about this, guys. I was working, uh, Beard was working. Uh, Chris Elise's dog had to go to the vet yeah. to see a doctor. I don't know what happened. I hope he's fine. Um, he canceled on us, but yeah, we were also re very busy. Uh, yeah. So we postponed the podcast with Chris Elise. Uh, but today it's it's Shazam. I was, I was shooting for... Uh, German television for like four days. Um, nice. In the mountains of the hearts. <laughs> was it anything with beatbox related or were you, were you just uh, no, doing no, no, the camera? This was just, I was just camera operator for this one. Um, yeah. And uh, last weekend I was at the Robit Award, uh, South Germany. South German beatbox. How was it? Champs. I love that event. Yeah, it was, it was nice. It was so wholesome. Till this day, I'm not so comfortable with like, like the, the venue it's i mean it's a theater and yeah, like the, yeah, the, I know where it is. the sound yeah. systems like feels a bit too small for like, like sounds would yeah. clip all the time yeah yeah i recognize yeah, that yeah. yeah but i've been judging judging one time yeah and um yeah but yeah, but, to, but to be honest for me at least it's so comfortable to set the whole thing <laughs> <laughs> We're getting older, bro. Oh, bro, I was, I was like, oh my god, I could sit the whole day just watching something beatbox related, yeah. you know? Like standing is sometimes. Sometimes I'm like, I'm standing there for like an hour, and whenever there's a battle, I'm not so interested in. I'm like moving, moving around, going outside, grab a drink, whatever. But at, and at this venue, sitting through the whole thing, I was like, I'm, I'm feeling comfortable. The sound is not. <laughs> The sound is not perfect, <laughs> but it's cool, bro. I can sit here. I have friends, friends around me sitting. There was Katie. Uh, uh, we're so old, dude. There was Foxy. All the fifteen-year-old listeners are like, "Oh my god, what, what are we listening to these <laughs> old farts?" Yeah, but, but but like at the same time, I can feel like for artists, it's like for beatbox artists, it's way better if you have a standing crowd in front of you. Yeah, but since I was not performing, for me it was ideal. <laughs> <laughs> I really loved it. Yeah, and uh, bro, the yeah, the beatboxers, man, the U18. So that was a U18 ca category and uh the men's battle and loop station. Okay. And uh I'm really impressed how good the U18 like the under 18 um category is in Germany. It's crazy. Like there was a beatboxer named Chorus. I I already saw him. Mm -hmm. um at the uh, uh last year german german champs part two so that was a second event um um without the main category the, um it was with the u18 and i think tag team and crew um and uh back then he was already performing that i think he he was second and he was now at the south german champs and he he got first in the u18 and he i think he easily could be top eight in Germany, maybe even top four, like skill wise, skill wise, he, he um, he could beat me, <laughs> uh, nice. maybe not, yeah, 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 yeah. And maybe not with his routines, but if he works on his routines, dude, and we have a lot of beatboxes in Germany who are like really young, 
Um, it's always the kids who have like the crazy technical stuff. You yeah. know, like there's, there are guys way younger than me uh, in the Netherlands too that are like technically like way above where I, uh, where yeah. I am. Yeah, so dude, it's, uh, like what they, what are they doing? Like where, where do they find these things? Yeah, like internet like, probably. Like what is happening on Discord right now? Like, yeah, like so, yeah, when yeah. I when I when I hear people like this, I'm I'm heavily considering like should I. <laughs> Should I be more on more presence on Discord again to get all the new shit, you know? No, 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 no. Yeah. I'm too old. I'm giving workshops right now almost <laughs> every single day. This is the most busy time of the year. And I bought the speaker and it came came uh, 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 in the mail today. Oh, and I actually one? really love it. Um, I was always using for like, because uh, uh, I have like a bag with loop station with all the cables, everything. Hmm. And it needs to be compact. And I was always using the, um, the J JBL jbl extreme 3 speaker you know it's yeah. pretty tr pretty big and it and it does the job for uh, for loop station workshops uh, mm. that i give at schools uh, but i wanted to, to have something smaller and maybe a little bit more powerful and so i bought um and it's also like the jbl uh, thing it's like it's it gives me a little bit of delay like it's it has to like uh and it draws its power from the battery so it's like it doesn't give too much uh power what, and what do you mean by delay well if i go a little bit loud the um there starts like a face uh, uh so like my beatbox will come later through the speaker there will ah, be a so little bit a of latency a, um, and there's a latency there's a latency yeah. so that was my main concern so i bought this that's tiny it's tiny but size looks, doesn't matter people it looks um, like what is the brand genelec so this is a 300 euro ah. speaker yeah, uh, I, same I, same as the uh, same as the uh, I, I paid I think for I know, the uh, I know them, like I, I saw them in a studio once like like yeah. the bigger version of it it's so, like but a, it looks pretty pretty much the same yeah they're super small like <laughs> I have to use this thing what is the this? only the only output is an XLR and I don't have a, a, a XLR to jack cable at home yeah. um, but this is what this is what it is for the people that are listening and not watching this is so like I've I'm, I'm holding a Genelec uh, speaker it's a it's basically for studio um, purposes, but I'm using it for. Uh, yeah. By the way, guys, it's not sponsored. It's just. No, it's not. Not yet. Um, and. Um, <laughs> what what the heck is happening? Why why are we not sponsored yet? <laughs> Generally, like, uh, if you yeah, consider yeah, sponsoring I'm, someone. I'm gonna use it uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow I have another uh, loop station workshop, and uh, uh, um, I'm gonna try it out to see if it's powerful enough to. Too, but it's like really small, so I can yeah. Yeah, yeah so but can, but in general, how many students do you have in a workshop? I'm I'm teaching schools, so uh, usually um, between between fifteen and thirty, uh, and but then I'm doing multiple classes a day, so I'm doing yeah. four, or I'm doing six, or I'm doing like eight is maximum uh, yeah. in one day. But but and, uh, but the schools don't provide you with a sound system. No. I, I, I do my own sound Whoa, system. Bro. I, I, I just I get thought, a, I, I thought I just the, get a school uh, uh, I thought a class. Nether I thought Netherlands is wealthier than Germany. We are like our uh, the schools are really like we we get these big screens and every single. I went to Belgium, not to shit on Belgium, but I went to Belgium to give workshops in uh, in the place Ghent. So to our uh, our uh, they're still using these these uh, um, these like sh 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 you know like the um, chalk crayon crayon uh, things chalkboards. Chalkboards, yeah, we yeah. don't have that for twenty years here now. Uh, mm -hmm. Like, if you see like a whiteboard, we're all like uh, already like that's old school because yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. everything is digital and everything is like uh, they have these digital screens that are touch yeah. uh, touch screens. Um, and so I've never seen that. It was, yeah, <laughs> it yeah, was really we still funny. Have chalkboards in in Germany in yeah, some in some schools. Yeah, the Netherlands is really for schools pretty, but usually uh, music wise. They're a little bit ahead in in Belgium, and uh, the students in Belgium actually did way better than Dutch uh, <laughs> students in, in terms of uh, Dutch yeah, students that's, don't. That's the down. Know that's the downside music. of being wealthy. If you're rich, uh, usually uh, you're not wasting your time on making music. <laughs> yeah, Dutch Dutch people uh, they 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 exercise more. Uh, everyone is doing sports, but nobody is playing music, and nobody mm. like like. Dude, it's um, so, a, it's similar in Germany, to be honest. Like, like I, I don't want to shit on everyone. Like in general, you would see more kids being interested in gaming and um, and sports than in music. I think. Yeah. 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 So, so they did better in music, but the the schools are really old school. They 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 have um, 
They're also like the clothing. It's like uh, they all had to wear like the same color clothing from the school itself. Like uh, we don't mm-hmm. have that here. So it's more traditional. But the students were so much more easy on the, uh, they had like respect for the teacher. <laughs> in Belgium. <laughs> that I don't usually see. If, yeah, Belgium. That okay. I don't usually see in the Netherlands. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, bro, bro Germany, that is also zero respect. So yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it's a uh, it's a uh, it's a big difference. Yeah. Um, yeah, but bro, but yeah. like in Germany, at least I, I had a phase where where I would uh, do a lot of workshops at schools. Nearly everywhere, I uh, they provided me with at least like a full range uh, speaker. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, Most, uh, in some uh, in some schools, they would they would even uh, give me like a like a room um, with a big sound system. Ah, uh, yeah, which was pretty yeah. sick. Well, sometimes it's available, but they uh, um, there are more uh, workshops than only mine um, mm-hmm. usually at the school. So we're doing like those, the kids get a day uh, full of workshops and then one of them uh, will be beatbox. One of them is like uh, uh, on the tablets making music or uh, uh, some, some creative stuff, mm-hmm. um, rapping. So like uh, um, if there is a speaker, they have to divide it over, over the workshops. Mm-hmm. But everyone has their own basic oh, like, okay understand um, yeah yeah so it has to be portable and that's why i i hope i will like tomorrow the um this little speaker that i uh, bought today hope yeah anyways um yeah i'm i'm looking for my notes right now i have three questions to, <laughs> to shazam but uh my experience was from the last latest podcast that that's pretty much enough uh so today to, uh, with shazam like my goal my goal is to find out what exactly happened that since Shazam broke up, um, where is Shazam going now? And with his solo career, I guess, uh, yeah. like I, I didn't see him uh, teaming yeah. up with anyone else. And uh, what's up with BBU? <laughs> uh, yeah, but I'm super excited to talk to him. It's uh, it's been a, uh, it's been a long while since we talked, and uh, I yeah, s- to, to be honest, for me also, like I didn't talk so much uh, to him in the past month, so I'm excited. Yeah, and I saw the video, like uh, at least uh, the first half, I think, of the video. That, uh, mm. Like, uh, that's why we were talking to him. I'm not sure if we t- if we made a good intro, but we're talking to Shazam because he posted a video that uh, he's gonna split up with uh, with Sin, and um, I think it's it's. Uh, uh, I saw the video. Sin wants to go his own artistic direction. I think that's like uh, a big part of it. Yeah, but we, we want to hear it from Shazam as well. Exactly, oh, like wow. I think his main thing was that it took away too much time um, creating content. He wasn't focusing on music so much anymore. And I, I can tell that this is stressful because to be honest, the more content I'm making, the less I'm working on music. I remember in, 2000, in, the, in yeah. 2020, I had like so many projects sitting on my computer that I created. Mm-hmm. And for example, last year i i think i didn't release anything at all uh, because i mostly was focusing on creating content and and it's kind of it's kind of weird right because like i think for uh, sin shazam it was similar i started to make content so that i get more reach so that people would listen more to my music yeah but then i stopped making music <laughs> too <laughs> to make more content to get more reach yeah and i think something similar was happening to sin that he didn't he didn't make music anymore and probably he just want to get back to his roots now yeah i think i think they just got into a routine of like uploading every single day and you get kind of like burned out doing yeah, that it's, for like it's a, crazy uh, so yeah especially if you don't have like the funds to like to have like a, a whole team to create this kind of content yeah um yeah, like if, if but they were have, hella successful, and I'm uh, I'm excited to uh, yeah. I mean, they're still, I would say. Anyways, say it, yeah. so um, I think it's time to get Shazam into the call. Let's do it. Wow, beatbox bros. Yo, bro, what's up? How you doing? <laughs> Yo, hey. Hey, we hey, get. Hey, hey. What's oh, up, man? Oh, Mig, it's good. How are you guys doing? Man, it's Finally, man. I made it to Beatbox Bros. It looks, yeah, man. It looks so weird to only have you in this frame. Sid! 
<laughs> yeah, no. But but first no, of all, he's still he's still three meters apart from me. But okay, you're still yeah. together. Oh, okay. So yeah. So we can't talk shit. Okay. <laughs> we can't talk shit. <laughs> okay. Of we course. Can. Yeah. But anyway, what can you do? <laughs> how, how is life? How are you doing, bro? Life uh, is crazy. Uh, yeah, a lot of things happened uh, last few weeks. A lot of things happened in the beatbox scene last few months and years. Yeah. What is it? Uh, can you oof. talk about it? <laughs> <laughs> some things we can talk about, some things we can't. <laughs> you know how it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah totally. But yeah, totally. For, but actually at the moment I'm really good in life. Feeling feeling really well. You, you look better bro, for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> you're HD. You're, you're more tanned. Yeah, it's the, you're more tanned, maybe. It's the camera. Yeah, it's summer. I mean, yeah. we have a lot of sun here. I go, I go out. Yeah, out of the yeah. house, <laughs> like some people. Yeah, Not yeah. If you think if you go out, you do some sports, you go out, you eat kind of healthy, you you sleep in a normal schedule. Yeah, really helps. Yeah, totally. <laughs> I, I can tell. I can see it on your face. You look, uh, you look, you look healthy. Actually, but normally I'm also like I have have a better color. But whenever I film with sin, because of course this normal skin color is darker. Yeah, we need to have one setting, and normally he looks normal then. And I look like super white so in all the videos, <laughs> like my skin ah, color is it. up. <laughs> yeah. That's it. It's the color grading, guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because of course, he, especially when we were in Sri Lanka, he, he looked so dark and I was actually super tan for a white guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But of course, Just to match. when we graded it down <laughs> and David was always too lazy to split, split the grading and make me also look yeah, good. Yeah. Too. <laughs> uh, That's funny. So this was the main reason you split? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I just want to look more healthy Finally. in the videos. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, we know. Yeah, yeah. Damn, bro, it was it was crazy when I saw this video last week. Uh, I was texting you. I was like, like I saw the title and I was like, uh, some clickbait again. Like, like, <laughs> like uh, I, I think la last last year, last year you you made a video something like that, right? Like where you yeah, where we put the channels together. Exactly. <laughs> oh, exactly. Yeah. oh yeah. Yeah, and I was like, oh, it's gotta, it's gotta be something like this. But you started <laughs> the video too with like, this is no clickbait. We're yeah. actually. <laughs> yeah, up. But, but then I was like, yeah, maybe I, I was waiting for like, ah, uh, psych. <laughs> We're making it bigger now, you know. <laughs> BBU's back. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but then it, it didn't happen. It didn't happen. I was like, oh no, what? What the freak? And then yeah, the I, th I thought I asked him if we should we do a like in the title no clickbait or something. But then he said no, it's like the biggest clickbait to say no clickbait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and also true. for a video like this, it's probably not the best idea yeah. to say no clickbait. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, then, and then I also remember then the, the outro came and you guys were like. You didn't. You didn't even could be able to execute the outro properly because it was like, yeah, that's the last video. Um, yeah, okay, guys, thank you so much and smiling. <laughs> but like, I could feel like in, in the in the inside, like I was. I had a tear in my eye when I was watching this. It was, it was emotional Don't. for me. Yeah. yeah, it was quite emotional because you've been you've been had you had quite the ride. Yeah. You've been recording videos for how long now? Okay, can you say? I think uh, the Since first video, first reaction we uploaded was, was 29th of September, 2020. Yeah, so that's a Rhythmine reaction. Yeah, <laughs> mm. so I still remember. Almost four years. Four. No, three. <laughs> no, tw 20, <laughs> 21, math. 22, 23. Yeah, what? I know. No. Ah, but, but only the 20, September 21, September 22, wow. September, no, it's two and a half years, maybe. Yeah, yeah. okay, that sorry, seems more, sorry. Uh, quick but like more, uh, very intense, of course, we nearly uploaded every day, we lived together the entire time, we spent every day, I think the most time we didn't spend together was like four days, when like Christmas I was with my family or yeah. something, otherwise we spend every day together. Wow. Damn. Did you film every day or was it like, did you have like uh, one day that you filmed like seven videos and you posted them throughout the week? Mm, it, it changed in the beginning. We filmed like stacks a lot. Then at one point we started live streaming mm -hmm. and then just cutting the videos out of there. But for, for a time, like for example, when the kickback battle was, we recorded every day and tried to be like, the rounds came out, tried to make the video come out the next day yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. to be on time. Or when GBB was happening, we tried to be like close at least. Yeah. 
Damn. That's a lot of with pressure. The, with the good videos, you know. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Yeah, like I, I can tell it's lots of pressure, like because I was I was trying to do something similar, but I totally failed. <laughs> like oh, I, well. I couldn't I couldn't it keep was, up. It was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> no, but like like I at the beginning it was working really well for me, but then at, at one point I was kind of burned out because it was like yeah. well, like it seems so like much. content that you get burned out. It seems so, much, so work. Yeah. There's so much work into the uh, the videos that you put out. It's yeah, like, I, I remember like, wow. when when Maddox put out this videos. Like, okay, <laughs> <laughs> it's over for us. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and we were like grinding out videos. And you made one video and it was like two hundred thousand views or something in a week. It's like, okay, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, well, but it looks too good. <laughs> yeah, but it didn't last for long. Like th that's the thing. Like I. You, you know, like my channel was like, it has a big peak at the beginning, but then it was fading away. But I think you guys were like more consistent. Yeah, because it growed a little slower. Yeah. And yeah. And I think, but I also think that the whole GBB19 thing yeah. was like a big catch. I mean, in the beginning, you did, did a lot of videos about GBB19 too, and they worked really well. Yeah. Then the Spencer, Spencer video, we also had the one video that worked really well. Mm -hmm. And we had this one title video that went like super viral. Yeah. And that gave like a big push in the beginning, but then it was Corona, so everyone didn't have anything to do. True. So it kind of like, they were all, I think a lot of people were just bored and they got to know Beatbox at that time. And then we did mm -hmm. it like an everyday thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So people had like the habit of eating dinner and watching our videos. Mm, yeah. Did it keep going up the, uh, the, the total views? Um, also the last <laughs> the total views of the channel no I mean yeah no I mean uh, I mean every <laughs> video, video wise like uh, uh, even last year did it still go uh, up no. slightly or it was always like uh, sometimes was better sometimes worse mm. I think in summer always was worse because people do stuff yeah and in winter it was better and mm. also depending heavily on the event so after GBB of course it was a lot uh, when sometimes there's like nothing going on like in the last year and there's like I, I, at the moment, I feel like people in general are not really interested in beatbox as they were before. Mm. Yeah, but also because, I, as you mentioned, like there is no like not really like a, like a, a beatbox battle at the same scale of GBB. Yeah, you know. Then there was BBU. Of course, yeah. we're gonna talk about that. that. Really worked. That was out like really well. Super successful. People were like hooked. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I feel like since BBU, there was nothing big happening yet yeah like i remember the one podcast you did and then like yeah last year there were no beatbox events at all <laughs> 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 like one of the first podcasts you did i listened in the gym i was like okay no, wait, wait, but I, I, there was no beatbox event at all I the mean, scene is dead event, I think, uh, you, you, you. and i was like okay i mean you both were top four right yeah. <laughs> 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 Uh, no, I was just I was just top eight. That's why, that's why I said, ah, yeah. yeah, that was no no big event. Yeah, who would have, who would have thought? <laughs> With some videos, we were so surprised when we got them. Like I remember also the video of Jordox against you. Yeah, I was uh, like, holy! F and then the whole the whole graphic scene where it was like drawn in and this, oh, he made a whole movie about us. Like, yeah. damn, yeah. what the f the amount of work he put in. Yeah, that was insane. Damn. I mean, most yeah. guys, some of them were like, like, uh, even my opponent, I, I, I kind of forgot his name right now, but, uh, Tropical. Tropical. What? He had like such a crazy <laughs> video. <laughs> what did you do? Stop dissing him, bro. That's my ADD. That's my ADD. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The first video of Tropical was crazy. I was still, I still remember like it's weird. Like, because Davi, Davi did it all by himself basically. Yeah. And also gave him like hints on, like he basically helped him produce it. And that was a possibility everyone in the competition had. We're like, yo, use David for audio, for video, yeah. whatever you want. Yeah. And then we too. get this video. He was on the clock. Like, time is over. Then he was in the same location as Wings. Yes. Was in this wild card. I was like, what the f is this? Yeah. Yeah. And this was the first BBU video we saw. Yeah. <laughs> I remember <laughs> you, you told us like, you can use David, you know? And, uh, and I think everyone was like, yeah, but I mean, if I can do it myself, maybe it's better. Yeah. And then, uh, and then we saw the video that da David made, and we were all like, yeah. well, "Maybe <laughs> we should use David." <laughs> but also in this battle, David also produced uh, Zero's whole audio, like 
Oh no, that was against Dan. Yeah, uh, Wing. Yeah, but Wing also, I think Wing did such a good round. Yeah, which would have won nearly every battle, but just Tropicals yeah. was so amazing, <laughs> dude. I, and the first time you could really listen to Tropicals beatbox in a, in a good quality. Yeah. Yeah, so Dude, it was so I, refreshing. I remember I was sitting on my couch with my girlfriend. I was like, "Yeah, let's let's check out the BBU video." And I, I was watching. <laughs> it, I was like, "What, <laughs> what the f is this video? That's insane!" And I was like, "Oh my gosh!" And I was looking at my girlfriend. I was like, "We need to level up our ideas on the video now." <laughs> I was like, we can't just go to the park and just you're just holding the camera on my face no. and then hoping it BBU looks good. Felt like a TV show. It's like we got yeah. it around the couch, you know, we put it on the big TV, we watched the premiere, like the two minutes countdown. We were all like, oh now it's gonna happen with popcorn. Yeah. 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 And also we never knew. Like so I mean sometimes David did the videos and he was like, Okay, like yeah, yeah, I did something for inertia. Haha. Ha. Yeah. <laughs> we're like, okay, let's go. And then also the one he get, did against helium was like, oh, damn. And then when the, when the camera in the beginning was like uh, moving over the chessboard and the I yeah. think the white king was laying yeah. down and the black king was standing yeah. there. Uh, yeah. I was oh like, you know, who's the king or what the? F <laughs> I was like, damn. <laughs> Just this one scene for me was like, okay, battle point done. Yeah. Yeah. Like, damn. Also, I remember his, when he was dissing Beard oh. with the, co the copy-paste. You remember that oh one? No, I don't, I, I don't remember this at all, so oh. next point. Yeah, yeah his, also, and his did everything by himself. Like, shout out to his. With every other participant, there were problems. Well, well, mm. he has a team. But he he, okay. <laughs> he he didn't use David. Let's let's put it like that. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, I mean, even you guys both were also really professional. But it was also always like, yeah, last day or I don't I don't. Oh yeah, but for with sure. Like with yeah. his, he was like handing in the video like four or five days before <laughs> thumbnail ready, everything ready. That's crazy. Like, and then yeah, also the clearance with his team because they always publish it and. With Korea, like with the with state the music or whatever, yeah. and the clearance was out. Like send, send us the link. Everything was super professional. Yeah, and also other participants were like twelve hours before that. Like yo, yeah. David, <laughs> <laughs> here's raw audio and the video clip. Can you do something? Yeah. Oh damn. No, yeah. I, I never had David do the do the the clip or audio. Right? Yeah, you did everything um, yourself. But yeah, yeah. But I, I remember it just got harder every single time to make something like unique. You know, yeah. it started out, you, you have like a good idea. And you're like, okay, this is pretty sick. And it started like the first ones were easy. And then it took more and more time to come up with a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. I mean, that was the thing with Dan too. I think because his first video was like the best mm. for me. Yeah. There was so much expectation on him. I, I, you know, you know the second one more. <laughs> I love sensations more. Yeah. <laughs> but oh, I remember this moment we had. Oh, moments I we had. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Moments when I we had. saw this video. Mm. Ah, yeah, we had. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you do the music video? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I, it was I just had so crazy because David the first time produced like Zero's track like sound by sound. Yeah. So I knew yeah, yeah. he put a lot of effort in, in Zero's audio. Mm -hmm. And we we're like, okay, Ish. Zero. Pff. I mean, we knew Dan could do like good wildcards, good songs from like his previous GBB wildcards and the BBU wildcard. But we're like, if Zero have like, has like good audio, a good video, like with our reset was like the kickback battle wildcard he had, which was for us the best kickback battle wildcard of the entire competition. Mm -hmm. And we thought, well, pff. and David put so much work into it, must be crazy. And then, and I don't know which. Yeah, we watched this first, I guess. And then we watched that and we're like, oh my God. Can we? And then we filmed the reaction. We stopped. I was like, can we, we listen to it again? Yeah. <laughs> can we listen? And I think we just sat there for like half an hour just re listening. Yeah, but, the, but the thing is, like, the video of Dan, like, the, <coughs> the video itself was was fine. You know, it's, it's not, it was not super fancy, but the audio, that's the thing, right? Like, it sounded. I also think the video. Really? Because it was. It looked so real. Yeah, yeah, it was. You know, it, it looked really like authentic. he's really beatboxing it, which made it also like people think yeah. he's just yeah. holding a mic and beatboxing like perfect. Yeah, 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 true. <coughs> it looks like, and, and also sounds like it's not, it, it yeah. sounds like it's one take. Yeah. yeah. And then also with a bit, the lyrics around them made it like interesting to watch enough, yeah. but also kind of live performance. 
because I think that that gets lost in a lot of beatbox videos that you can see it's not real. Yeah, he, his lip syncing mm. was always like really clean. Uh, True. And then you because At yeah, I, think, I mean that's a cool thing about beatbox that it's live and yeah. that you make it with your mouth and if you, when you can see in the video that you actually don't. Maybe I think takes away from the magic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. That's true. You know this one eclipse video where he's just beatboxing like hip hop covers. Yeah. It's like, like 60 million views. Yeah. It doesn't even sound good. Like it sounds the, You mean the audio quality? Good. Yeah. yeah, it's like it's good. Yeah. But you can see like he's all making all by himself, <laughs> all the tracks, and you can see it's live. I think all the viral beatbox videos are live, right? Mm -hmm. most, do you yeah. know of any? Yeah. True. Maybe that's a secret. Mm. Just do it live. I mean, that's also at the moment when I uh, see your, I mean, your TikToks right now are super well produced, Lennox. Yeah. The ones you put out. Yeah. I think I um, was thinking about why, like, why they're not going viral. Yeah. But maybe because you, it's too good. Mm. Yeah, th that was, that was my concern too. But the, the thing that I'm like, like right now I'm in this, in this uh, mindset that I, I'm aiming more for like product placements or like to get commercials or to get gigs yeah. rather than having big reach. So I'm, I'm focusing more on like, on like the quality audience. If, if you, if you can put it like this, you know what I mean? Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it can be the peasants. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> sure. Not just if, anyone. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this, if this will, um, long-term, uh, uh, be more successful than if I would just, yeah, put like the regular content out. Yeah, but you never know. Yeah, you, you, I never, think that's, you that's never can know. After, after Spencer, that's what I learned. Like, just do put put content out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's the same with our reactions. If you really want to have a laugh, watch our first reaction. It's so cringe. <laughs> and we're like, yo, I have a special guest here. It's Sin. Oh. And he's like, oh, thank you so much. So humble. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Rithmind is doing really well looping. Yeah, <laughs> and there's yeah, yeah. like no energy, no nothing. Yeah. Yeah. But after 100 reactions, you're like, okay, this is easy. Let's go. Yeah, you guys change over time, which is really nice yeah. to see. Yeah. 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 I think that, the, but that's the thing. All, your first beatbox battle, you're shit. Your first video, you're shit. Yeah. Except Maddox when he's producing his first intro <laughs> no bro, but to, to be honest <laughs> to, to be honest i also can't i can't really watch my first videos anymore because it's yes like in the the edit is professional but like the way i was talking like you can sometimes tell this was take number 258 <laughs> yeah. mm. but that's what we like we never took takes that's why yeah maybe it was also easier for us to do more yeah no but that's the thing like right now i mean the podcast is also uncut mostly sometimes really? we cut out why did you just say four times i have to say it new what <laughs> <laughs> can you rephrase that yeah. <laughs> have you ever been to like yeah. a tv so, so production or something <laughs> 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 like uh, when I, I filmed i was once at x factor germany mm -hmm. and then when you have like these interviews they're like okay can you say it but rephrase it can you rephrase that? And you say the same thing eight times yeah. and then they cut it together. Like you kind of don't like the other guy. Uh, <laughs> like, uh, like, and what, what did you think about his, his song choice? Yeah. <laughs> like you, they kind of make you change things uh, yeah, slightly, yeah. slightly, slightly at the end you watch yeah. it and like, and then it's like, yeah, I, I think he should like have taken shit. another song. Yeah. <laughs> I wow. don't like Shazam. <laughs> 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 Yeah, the, the original video was like, yeah, I'm vegan, so I I don't I don't eat cheese, I don't he eat ham, and they cut it together. It sounds like I don't like cheese ham. <laughs> <laughs> wow, <laughs> Sergey, make something funny of it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not vegan, so I eat cheese, so I eat ham, and I don't like cheese ham. You know what I mean? Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he's also shout, shout out to Sergey Speechock. Ah, uh, yeah. He's like, oh my god, one of the best editors ever. <laughs> like, also shout out to David, of course. I think like, <laughs> quality wise, there's no one except Maddox uh, <laughs> 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 who compares yeah. to to no, him. And also, to honest, he started with us. You know, he the first video he ever edited was for us, mm. and it was the you can watch it up uh, inertia. 
Seven to Smoke uh, compilation where he in the the old one. Yeah. Uh, and I think this video is like 400,000 views or something. Like the reaction is yeah. <laughs> like so and crazy. This first video he edited. Yeah. And so like he also grew with us and he came, became so good. Yeah. It's incredible. Like the whole BBU thing you can see. Yeah. Man, and to be honest, like, like I, so I think if I compare myself to David, I think like I could create like a higher corporate quality video if you if you want to put it like this but i i feel like david is like he's hitting the the, the taste of the of the new generation better. yeah yeah he really understands like memes and yeah. he's like the mr beast uh version of edit yeah. yeah exactly like he's he's also a bit more creative like sometimes i'm sometimes i'm like too picky with like some effects that i would use and then i i just don't use as much But David sometimes, yeah. like, do you remember? He made a video where he, uh, he made a video about a speaker from Teufel. Yeah. Did you remember this video? That was on made on his phone. Yes. Bro, <laughs> when I saw this video, I was like, he's the best editor. Yeah, he didn't even have a laptop. And uh. that, I mean, that's the reason we, we took him. Then we, this we video made was a call out video. Yeah, we made a call out. You told you showed me this video. Yeah. I was like, who the fuck, David, that type, Alter, was? <laughs> Because I knew him since like 2013 yeah. or something. It's like one of the German beatboxers. We, I mean, you know, Maddox, there was like three, four battles every year. Yeah. We kind of always were there. Yeah. You kind of know each other. And then this guy was doing this video. Yeah. What? And then I told him, yo, we looking for an editor. Like yeah. do a submission. And he actually told me, no, don't take me. Yeah. Don't take me, please. Don't take me. <laughs> It's like, shut the f*** up, That's make crazy. a video. That's <laughs> the best. Yeah. That's so ballsy. It's like, don't take me. Okay, you're hired. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he literally told me, uh, don't take me. Okay, but wait. Don't please, you. <laughs> he, you took him because of my recommendation. David, no, 20%. He, 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 <laughs> <laughs> then, then he took like, uh, yeah, he made a video and it was by far the best. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know. There were like 20, 30 people sending us edits. Mm -hmm. mm. And his was standing up. And even people who are like, I'm a professional editor for four years. Yeah. And like, there was no like flow. Like you, I mean, with the technical stuff, it's easy to learn. Yeah. Like cutting and making stuff over. But a timing. Like having a good flow, especially like cutting out where someone doesn't talk good. Yeah. Like it's, it's with, like with comedy. Yeah. Like yeah. You, 10 yeah. people can tell the same joke, but one can have just the perfect timing and then it's so much better. Yeah. Yes. I think the best video like reaction he did for us is for the inertia elimination of GBB 20, like the, the last GBB, yeah. was it 22? Okay. Yeah. Mm. Pff, this uh, he had so much zooms and everything. Like he, he made the original video better than <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. the whole, like, I yeah. think the reaction is even more funny and more entertaining than the actual video just from his zooms in and then he zooms to Rusi and something and makes like a, Yeah. Daddy and Nash, like a whip. Yeah. This is so good. <laughs> yeah. Like when I watched the reaction, I was like, damn. Ish. This is so entertaining to watch. That's funny. <laughs> Man, but, but I, I had a similar, at the beginning, I had a similar experience with Ray, relative. Like I remember, yeah. like um, I gave him a video of, it, it was it was with you guys. Like we were sitting in your room and I think we did like guest a beatbox or something. And he was like, can I edit this video? Uh, or, or can I edit a video for you? I want to I want to show you some new new things. And then he edited it, and I was like, "It's so good, bro! <laughs> From now on, please make every video." Mm. It was really it was really really good. But the problem is, and I think even for me it would be a problem. Uh, for anyone it would be a problem. It was so good, and I think he would he put so much creative energy into it that it was impossible to recreate something like this all the time, right? Yeah. Like sometimes, like it, it would feel repetitive at one point, like, oh, he uses all, all the time the same effects. Um, or it was just so much to do. So it was not efficient, you know, you know what I mean? And yeah, if you're a small channel, mm -hmm. your efficiency, for, uh, sadly, is also a big, big factor. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we had this with David. We always told him like, this is just a Ish. normal reaction. This won't get any views. Like. Just cut it and take like it should shouldn't take more than 20 minutes to do cut the video through. You don't even have to rewatch us. Yeah. Quick, quick. But he always had this like artistic mm. vision. Yeah. So with like when we had to do mass producing videos, it was hard. But we needed this to even finance him, you know? Yeah, true. 
So it was hard. But yeah, shout out. But yeah, shout out Speedjock because he's actually, I mean, not on the same level as David, maybe from the skills, but he's also very, very good, especially after you trained him. Yeah. <laughs> but he's so quick and so professional with everything. It's so crazy. Yeah. So mm, like, yeah. maybe we shouldn't do too much advertising so ad everyone uses him. Yeah, but I think I think everyone needs like a good mix of like we need a little bit of David and we need a little bit of speed shock in our life. A little bit yeah. of consistency and creative people. I mean also depends on on the style. Like if you just do like one video every two weeks, you can do it with David, you know, yeah, but if you have to do like one video Or, or depending on the project, you know, you have like once a month, you have a big fancy video and the rest is, rest is like daily content. Um, yeah. I mean, there's not a lot of beatboxes who can do that at this point. Yeah, true. Maybe D'Lo. Yeah, D'Lo maybe, yeah. No, Rofu, but even with Rofu, the interest is going down a little bit. Yeah. I feel like, but I feel like, yeah, general beatbox. But, uh, but I mean, Rofu, like, people love them to be as raw as possible. Like, I saw yeah. they even started uploading raw material. Yeah. Right? Like, the uncut beatbox game. Yeah. Do you know that, BR? They have an <laughs> extra channel when, when they did the beatbox game with, yeah. like, someone, and it's half an hour recording, and they cut the video down to, like, 15 minutes because it's, like, just talking in between and jokes. Yeah. And then they upload the uncut video and it also has like 90,000 views. But on a 30-minute video, only Japanese views, which also probably is like, wow. I don't know, also 400, 500 euros or something. So, yeah. <laughs> so damn, we're going like, to put damn. this in, in this title, uncut. <laughs> Why they split <laughs> up <Uploads>. uncut. <laughs> More click Japanese bites. subtitles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Japanese subtitles. I mean, I mean, we talked uh, generally about like you guys splitting up, but can you like uh, for the people that haven't seen your video, like, uh, can you tell us what and the viewers what happened? We, I mean, what we did all the time. I think a lot of people know. We started doing videos together. We started doing Onichan together. We did Waka GBB. I think that was like our biggest accomplishment, mm -hmm. come becoming top four, and then also going to GBB. I mean, for BR it's normal, I know, but for every other beatboxer <laughs> in the world, going to GBB is like the dream. Yeah. You know, like even I know world championships is also nice, but GBB is GBB or yeah. was GBB. So it's like Ish? once in my life, I want to become German champion. And then I, I got that and then I want GBB. And then we went to Ish? GBB and it was like the biggest dream and went on stage and we became fourth place. Like, just going through the elimination too with like people like Zen Hit or Shadow Sumo or Jackpot and we placed better than them. Yeah. Like they're so much better in beatboxing than us. It's not even funny. Like, but like we used what we can do. We used like our strength, like making a show. And yeah, we, we went there and it was so cool. But after that, yeah, it kind of, I mean, we continued with the whole beatbox thing. There was this whole thing with Thomas Sacre and you, you all know <laughs> during BBU <laughs> you mean or um, yeah I mean started before BBU and then during BBU I mean BBU was also really good Sen and I uh, were, were traveling for a few months too through Sri Lanka we had a really good time and yeah we became better and better friends I think every day like this also I really emphasize what I emphasize again our friendship is not changed at all like mm -hmm. he's still my brother like you guys <laughs> so uh yeah but for him i think because he started off as this looper guy like sin the looper and he was exceptionally good yeah i think we all remember him his, his gbb wildcard and he actually had another wildcard already like imagine that he had two wildcards recorded for gbb ready recorded ready mixed mastered it was like which one should i upload and uh, mm -hmm. I think the other wildcard as well would have gotten like third place or, or better. Yeah. And he was at this level. And then of course, with the whole content, with the tag team training, with like new life developments, uh, you kinda, he kind of lost focus and he kind of lost the thing that really fulfills him, like making music, looping. And, but I think looping is more like a gateway to making music for him. But it's, mm. you know, you need something limiting to be creative. Like that was DubFX always mm, said, like if yeah, you have all the possibilities, his interview. like it's really, really hard. Yeah. But if you, you have this limitation of the loop station 
and like in one extra device or something you can create music easier and also more personal mm. and i think he really lost that for himself and got like really unhappy about it and i also had my personal struggles during the time and yeah developed a lot uh, but now we were at this time where he like doesn't really feel like this entertainer i mean if you know sin you both know him personally too he's actually more like a shy guy and more introverted yeah. guy uh, and me, I'm a bit more like <laughs> extroverted and really? I mean, <laughs> what? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a very loud, obnoxious guy <laughs> also outside of the videos. <laughs> so, uh, but he's not like this, but he kind of also forced himself into that role and didn't really feel like himself. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, yeah, he, he kind of realized this over the last few weeks and months, like, like actually this all works, but it doesn't really make me happy. Well, What's the problem? Mm -hmm. And so he decided to yeah try to focus on the thing that made him happy before, yeah, which is like looping in music. And I mean, if you want to see him looping on vocal to tie, I don't know. Uh, will you guys be there? Yes, I, you're gonna I'm go. Yes, I, 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 Ivory Bro, messaged me. Ivory, wait, 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 wait. I Ivory thought you called it. I thought it's safe. Ivory messaged me last week. He's like, he's like, uh, Fokoda is not in. Do you want to join? And I was like, ah, I gotta, I gotta see. Uh, I don't know, um, but I I don't, I don't think I can make it. Like uh, 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 in that weekend, I I don't think I can. Um, but he what? messaged me last week. He was like, "But what happens? Like, it's it might be the the last vocal total um, in this state." No, and like, are you actually wearing beatbox shootout shirt? Right no, now? I'm not. I'm not. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and saying you're not coming. It even <laughs> it even says my name. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, no oh, man, I I'd love to come. Uh, but uh, I are you in Turkey in this time or? Hmm? No, no, I mean, it's it's just yeah. I got other 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 things also planned. I mean, I it's it's possible, but we'll be very very tight. Um, I can no sexual. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you're for sure going. Are you going by uh by f you're you're flying to me? Yeah, yeah. I'm flying from Hamburg. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, I also go. Apparently cheaper than from Berlin. And, and Sin, Sin is, uh, I mean, also offer to to host. Mm. I want to mm. host once. A anyone, big beatbox event, let me yeah, host. Yeah, bro, I yeah. Bro, do it. Bro, I, I saw Ray hosting last weekend. That was actually pretty good. And Robbie the Ward? Yeah. Have you been there? Yes, I was there. You know, shout out to two of my students making final. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ferris and Lesko. Ah, both, yeah. Uh, Bro, Lesko is crazy. Lessons with me. Lesko is Oof. like, he's so technical. Like he yeah. has some techniques that are really close to collapse quality. Um, but then he also can do musical stuff. It's insane. Yeah, he is really, there's some really good beatboxes coming up mm -hmm. in Germany. Yeah. Also Chorus it's was crazy. sick. Um, Töricht was doing really good. <laughs> Such a German name. Such a funny <laughs> word, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think Germany really, really comes up. Yeah, nice. it's and insane. Yeah. Yeah. Finally. I, I'm happy I'm not competing this year. <laughs> Are you not? You don't want to uh, become four-time German champion? No, no. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, it's, it's not official now, but I, I've, I'm going to be judged uh, already, <gasps> already. Yeah, but I mean, Where? finally. Yeah, a, a German champ. German champs. Course. Yeah, yeah. Course. Finally. Wait, you're not competing? Finally. <laughs> no. no. You're no, scared. No. You're not competing <laughs> again? <laughs> you're scared? Eh? I heard that you don't win again. Yeah, yeah. Maybe <laughs> next, no. maybe like next year, uh, I'm going to be pissed uh, that I'm not, not five time German in, champs. No. Not getting yeah. enough attention anymore. Imagine. And then I'm going, going to try it. Once yeah, again. but I feel like also competing doesn't really give you attention. <laughs> yeah, that's the point. Like the last time when I won, it was kind of like, okay. Cool again. Yeah, at this point you have just stuff to lose. Yeah, it's like when you mm -hmm. when you win again, it's like wow. Of, of course, Maddox won again, ha! Huh. But if you lose to someone, it's like oh my god. Yeah. And also, people want to see the underdog win. Like nobody is gonna be yeah. for you. Everyone is like, yeah. let the guy that always win lose. Like you know, like, everyone like, wants to see you lose. Yeah. Do, do you remember East German champs? I lost against El Grande, 
Yeah. And everyone is like, oh my God, yes. Yeah. You know, they were hyping it up so much and I felt so bad. I was like, oh man. <laughs> uh, but, but, but not because. Yeah, yeah, but that's everyone wants to see. Even with Babali, like last time, everyone was like, oh, but let Babali win. He's yeah, like yeah, coming yeah. finally back on stage. He is coming back with a style. Dude, there was so was much like, pressure. Yeah. Like when I went on stage, everyone, Babali. And I was like, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no one was shouting <laughs> for me and I was like, shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyways. But yeah, Vokal Total, like, Vok you go, go, should all come. If you, like, also f the, the fans of Beatbox, if you want to see a good Beatbox event, yeah. I think this year will be crazy. Like, this whole looping, I, I think they still don't know exactly how they'll do it with the five people on stage and no, shit. No, they know. Have you, have you not seen our... To our I see podcast. your podcast. <laughs> uh, <laughs> not to split the beans, but I'm living with one of the participants and he's not 100% sure about the whole rules. <laughs> <yet, so. laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I don't know who's more up to date on this. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also, I think, super hard for Nexo because he's not a looper and making loop rules is so hard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, I remember us at, at, when we were all at SBX still like, deciding on uh, do we do an extra device or no extra device and then the next time with the whole oh unlimited device gosh. we were fighting I still so think much my, my, I think still my idea would have been the best which one, which one? I, I, I was like let's do one category with all devices yeah and one category with just just uh, uh, reverb compression and EQ yeah so it, the whole category would have been like MB14 like Robin like beatbox looping yes. which I think would People would have loved more oh my than the whole. Yeah, yeah it almost yeah. becomes silly at one point. Like Dude, why? There like was it, one guy yeah. at South German Champs. There was one guy. He played a cover. I don't remember the cover, but he was just pressing one button, and then the whole melody of the chorus would play. And I was like, yeah. "What is the like? Not even not just arpeggio, but like, but like a uh, uh, chord progression. You know? I mean, that's also the reason I think Biscuit won." Because he had like the perfect mix of still like you un understood what he was doing because he was putting in all the sounds one by one, yeah. but then it still sounded crazy. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. But and Robin but had I to battle him first. Was like well, I definitely would I love know. to see like a na natural looping thing. Yeah, oh, that would be so good. Yeah. I feel like because because people are using so much effects now, um, there's not so many beatboxes who actually use their voice um, yeah. that, that that can compete with them right now, right? That's why I love Robin so much. Yeah. Man, like uh, for the festival I'm planning, um, actually Robin was the first person in my mind uh, and I yeah. asked, uh, I directly asked him if he wants to join this. this if, lion it's, trick. if it's gonna happen. We don't know yet. <laughs> like I, I can't, I can't <laughs> assure yet. I, I don't want to spread anything. But yeah, um, I, I really love yeah, it. Yeah, also with Sin, I talk a lot, or in the past, we talked a lot about like how much he can like do at once without it being silly, but still sounding like music. Mm -hmm. And also, I mean, also the mix itself is so important at the same time. Like, yeah. I, th I feel like if Robin would have like nicely mixed drums mm. to his tracks, yeah. or Biscuit as well, like his stuff could be on the radio. It's only the mix that is hindering, that's an English word. <laughs> Hindering them from becoming mainstream. Yeah, yeah, but then, but then, like they could easily make a, like a studio version out of their songs where it's mixed better. I think you know what I mean. Yeah, but do they? No, they don't. <laughs> yeah, but then it's not on the on the loop station, and it would be like an Ableton Live kind of loop thing. Yeah, so but I, I mean, I I think for live it works like this, you know, because because you can get away with not a perfect kick and snare, mm -hmm. but for. For radio, yeah. for Spotify, it has to be perfectly mixed. Otherwise, it's not loud enough or not punchy enough. Yeah, yeah. but I think yeah, Rhythmine doesn't do any compression, any cue on his drums. Really? And Saro, Saro, I mean, Saro, I'm sure when he did 2017, he didn't do anything on it. Bro, you remember when we did the tutorials of MB14 and he was like, yeah, yeah. I don't use anything. I was like, yeah. what? <laughs> we were explaining to him how to do the kick on the loop station. Yeah, like, yeah what? exactly. And then, <laughs> how do I do it? Oh, like the oh filter, my god, sounds so good. The filter trick. Yeah, yeah. He was like, yeah. yeah, I'm not using anything. Sometimes I use a low cut and I or a high cut for my lip for lip roads, that's it. I was like, what? 
This tutorial series was so funny. Yeah. Like we, we recorded the whole thing in Maddox's apartment. Yeah. And then we basically, Maddox and me did the planning for the bro, bro, you remember, tutorials. You, you remember when he was, he was, <laughs> he, he was doing his routine. I'm singing my heart out. Oh but my like God. Really, really loud. He was singing super loud. And it was like 1 a.m. 1, 1 or 2 a.m. Like in the night. In the night. And then it, like my, my neighbor was knocking like at the, at the floor, you know? Like, but the, yeah, but they didn't hear it because Amy Fortina had the headphones on. Yeah. Maddox had the headphones on to listen to the sound and I was sitting next to it. I just see Amy Fortina like, I'm singing my heart out, my heart. <laughs> like he just made up the song and I hear like, bam, bam. Yeah, the neighbors. <laughs> I was like, bro, This was in Munich or? <laughs> no, no, in Berlin. Berlin. In Berlin. Berlin. But you re remember he had like really thin walls and oh my oh God. And my. I mean, you guys know German people don't like <laughs> people being noisy or yeah, having but that was, fun. That was also, that was like during the week. Like, like I would talk to my neighbor, uh, I think the week after or something. And she was like, I, I, I need to get up every day at six in the morning. Oh my God. Like MB14 was singing full on. Yeah. <laughs> like screaming. Yeah. <laughs> and she literally singing, I sing my heart. Oh my God. That was, it was so funny. I don't know. So at, at some point she was lying on the floor laughing yeah. about some shit. Yeah. It was, it was, it was fun. Yeah. This tutorial series. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I, bro, I, I miss these times, man. Like that was, that was, oh, yeah. that was so much fun to create these things. I mean, also, I never know if people know, but the only reason I met was at Swiss Beatbox was because of Maddox. Really? Really? Yeah. Because the, in the beginning, it was, uh, I mean, I knew Peponi since 2009 from uh, like MSN. And actually, we yeah. like at the World Championship 2009, which was probably maybe with GBB 2019 or World Championship 2009, the best beatbox event you could ever have. And it was my first beatbox event. Yeah. And I was 15. Yeah. Like, <laughs> crazy. And then Bilo, Bilo gave me an artist band so I could just be there as well because I was too young to actually join the, it was in a club in Berlin. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, so Paponi knew me, but then you guys were looking for a social media guy. And you said, yeah, yeah, Shazam's kind of into that whole thing. Yeah. And then that's how I got the gig. So that's the only reason I was there was because of Maddox. Maybe otherwise I wouldn't have been too much yeah. into beatbox mm. because it was, I was studying at this time as well. Yeah. Yeah, and I, then, like, I, I just started beatboxing. I kind of remember long. how I told Peponi to to ask you. Yeah, I I think because we were like, okay, we need someone who's like close to us, who who maybe also speaks German, so it's easier to communicate. Yeah, and the th the first person I was thinking of was you. Yeah, yeah, true. Damn, crazy times. Mm. 2017. You, you joined 2017. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Damn, I, I remember like, it was like 330,000 yeah. subs. Damn. Yeah. And we were always like, when can we reach Beatbox Battle TV? <laughs> yeah. That was, that was, when do we overtake them? <laughs> yeah. That was crazy. How much do we have I, actually I, right now? I'll look it up. I think like point SPX 4.6, 4.7. No, like, uh, beatbox Battle. Uh, beatbox. Uh, it's, it's kind of the same because Below didn't upload and then it kind of stayed on, I think it's like 900,000 maybe. Uh, 800. 800. 97. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, close. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> close. Yeah. Damn, that was... Yeah, but I think, yeah, with the new world champs coming up, yeah, we'll go on again. I hope. Ah. I hope. Because um, you never know. Like, um, if the production is, like, kind of close to, let's say, GBB 2017 or 18. <laughs> yeah, and I think if this, the production will be 2000, even 2017... A lot of videos will go viral. Yeah, true. Yeah, like you, even you, even the 2015 World Champs because I, I singed the sound for them, so they sounded pretty good. Yeah, that's why I think because the 2018 singed didn't do the sound. I mm -hmm. think so the sound wasn't as good. So I mean, yeah, that, that's the thing with beatbox. You, you can be the best beatbox in the world if, if the sound's not good. I always say yeah. like a beatbox beatbox at a beatbox for one year is mediocre with good sound will beat D'Lo in a battle with shitty sound like there's nothing this person can do if you sound shit on the video yeah it's even yeah. like I mean, it's BR versus Alexinho I'm like yeah that's, it's I showed it to my friends it's, it's and they horrible. were like laughing it's like I've I've watched oh. it back <laughs> one time I think and it sounded so bad I mean yeah yeah pretty yeah but yeah 2015 if you watch his videos like Napalm's elimination, K-pom, mm. like it really, mm. also the battles. Oh my god! 
was it Alem versus Napalm mm -hmm. was so crazy. Yeah. So sound is the most important thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing. <sighs> like you have to feel the vibe in the room. It's not just about the routine. It's that's, that's also the issue I have right now with uh, the European champs videos. They, like they, they don't have a crowd mic. It's just the raw, it's just <sighs> the audio from the, the dry audio from yeah, the, the microphone. crowd mic is really yeah who brought that up Sinjo right they, or who did it no um starting with that European champs Sinjo wasn't there no no the the using the crowd mic because ah. that's uh, this I think changed changed the game no, we started this already in 2013 I think yeah but th back makes, then we didn't everything sounds so full like, like I I would just put a microphone on the camera I mean it's enough yeah. Yeah, I yeah. think we did this actually a lot. Because when we were at like, I remember being at, in Indonesia at Werewolf Beatbox Battle and we were also having crowd mix, but it was a whole new mixing table Sinjo didn't know. Then this whole routing in the venue didn't really work. So mm. we didn't have a crowd recording, but we had like five cameras yeah. over there and then he kind of mixed the crowd yeah. sound together or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's still better than just a dry microphone sound. Yeah. Yeah. Like, bro, like back then, I remember 2013, um, producing GBB, it was like, I had like one camera without anyone standing behind it. I was just recording and hoping that the battery will uh, not shut down. And then we had had my camera and then I gave one camera to Papuni uh, and uh, g gave him some, some little instructions how to film it. And then I would put a zoom recorder into the mixing desk and hoping that it's not clipping, you know, like <laughs> while the sound check was going on, I was plugging it in. But then, of course, if if the mixing engineer mm. would change the uh, oh, change the levels, it would totally mess it up. So I, and, and I had no no one to be sitting next to it and checking the sound. So, yeah. you know, I, I would find out at home if the sound is fine or not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's so much like that was I so mean, technical stressful. shit ever always happens. Yeah. And, and you like, know, there's like one beatbox video out there that would have been the most viewed beatbox video on SPX in all time. Yeah. But the audio got corrupted. Oh my God. I don't know if you guys know, like from camp. Mm. 2H? There was a battle. No, there was a Barry One versus Sauro. Yes. Oh. No, Barry One versus MB14. And then they did a routine. MB14 did a loop routine and then Sauro came on stage and pushed like MB14 away. Like, yo, this is my loop station. And then MB14 joined Barry Worm and it was Barry Worm versus Sauro. <laughs> it was like, and they did like the world championship routines they just did, but then we would have fed them in like the craziest audio and it was a whole show. Yeah. It was so crazy. But I think the loop station audio didn't pick up or something or there was like a corruption in the audio and it's like oh my god yeah. i mean this just seeing this live was one of the best moments of my life yeah <laughs> it's like, ah. oh but my i mean god. that that's happens techn with technicalities yeah. also from 2017 the championship the german championship where i won yeah there was also audio bug so yeah. everything was completely oh like god. unusable audio yeah so i don't even have videos of this night yeah. Yeah. where i won three categories yeah <laughs> She. Um. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> Maybe good. I don't know. Yeah, I, yeah, that's crazy. I I, I remember uh, there was also a video of Two H, um, at Beatbox Camp where like, I think the first thirty minutes we had on tape, but then like the the last 20, 20 minutes we didn't have, hmm. and then uh, yeah, Two H was like <laughs> fifty minutes. Yeah, it was it was a really long showcase. But it was really sick. Um, it, was this then, a camp then, or no? A beatbox camp, yeah. Yeah, okay, I remember. I've seen the entire set. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then like uh, 2H was like, I, either you upload the whole thing or nothing. Yeah, so. Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was one of the best showcases I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yes. I think the audience will hate us yeah, right now. Yeah, so like, <laughs> this was actually the coolest beatbox moment of all yeah. time. <laughs> we're, we're actually saying this. This is all not true. The, these these this performance never happened. Yeah, I think yeah, we're yeah. saying this because when we do put out an event, people will buy tickets because they're like, the audio can get corrupted and shit. We need to see the live thing because else. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, you always have to see the live thing. Exactly. Oh my god, Cam was so good. Yeah, yeah. That, that was that was bro. That, there's oh. so many videos that. That never were uploaded. Also at La Cup, there was a showcase by Kim. This was my f favorite showcase ever, ever. 
and we lost the audio. Uh, I don't know what happened exactly. Um, back then we, we didn't even have Sinjo yet. Uh, but then there was one guy from the US, he just made like a, a, just with the camera audio and he uploaded this video. And at least this then. Yeah, sometimes that's even better. Yeah. I remember this one battle, Alexino versus Pac-Max from French Champs, like two years ago or something. Yeah. It's like a crazy battle and someone just filmed it from the crowd and it sounds so good, like better than the film video because the audio was also not like not the best. Yeah. And live, you could really hear the impact of all these crazy sounds and yeah. pff, the crowd going wild. Yeah. Man, with Kim, I always forget how good he is. I don't know why. <laughs> Like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we all know Kim is like super good, but whenever I see him beatbox live, I'm like, damn, yeah, <laughs> I did. what the f Yeah, <laughs> yeah, bro. It's, it's crazy. Like, yeah, this guy has so much flow. Like, yeah, I think, it's like so full. Oh. I think in 2013, he was like my biggest inspiration for beatboxing. Like him, him and Ballsy, like these were like my like two really? favorite beatboxers. Mm. Yeah. For me, for a long time was Kenny. Kenny Urban? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Understand, yeah. After he won also GBB, I was like, damn, yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, I, 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 re I remember you were, you were all like, oh, Kenny could be easily be world champion if he would put put together some routines. <laughs> yeah, I remember him talking to him before world champs, like maybe two weeks before or something. And I was like, do you, like, do you compete? Like, can you please win? You're my favorite beatboxer, please do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, actually, no, but I, I want to take out at least one guy who really wants to win. <laughs> <laughs> oh that was God. this thing like I want to beat someone who really takes it serious and then I don't care anymore. I've yeah, heard yeah. him say this before I, uh, I think yeah, it was yeah. another USA guy who was competing with Napalm or someone else or Gene and he was like I would just want to take out one guy and then lose against Gene or Napalm <laughs> you know? that's funny oh my god oh my god that was such a dominating time remember GBB 2018 it was like four people going out like if top four it was just Kenny, Napalm, Gene, and then Barbley. Yeah. So out of the four spots, three Americans made it. Yeah. Oh my God. That's so sick. And they won like three years in a row. They won GBB. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Beatbox house, man. Yeah. And, and yeah. they started also like right now, um, getting, getting more and more attention on Instagram. Yeah. 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 I think just about consistency with this whole. Yeah. Also content game. I mean, you see with everyone who starts like uploading more and more, you get better and kind of starts growing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's also what I want to do now. Like short, more short form content, silly stuff, stealing content from others. You know, <laughs> you know how it <laughs> like goes. Like everyone does. Um, you, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know how it goes. Just, oh, just Jacob to, made a viral video. Let's just do to, the same. Just do <laughs> <laughs> in every video and you get viral. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we kind of did it with the whole sound reaction thing from... I don't, I think Jacob also, in, Jacob invented this. I'm pretty sure. What? Mm. With the whole doing like one sound and then, yeah, and, and then everyone, everyone, like, yeah, yeah, and everyone dances. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And then we, we did it kind of like we did three or four versions of it. And one of it also got viral on TikTok, like 10 million views and also on YouTube, like 1 million views. Yeah. I had to take it down, but, uh, Why? yeah, uh, there was one person in the video who doesn't, didn't want to be in the video anymore. Oh, so. okay. What? <laughs> there is a camera right there. No, I mean no, after, afterwards. Yeah. Okay, I, afterwards. I, I think you I know. know who. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. So, but yeah, I mean, we stole the concept. The, I mean, that's what you always do. Like, be, be everyone. That's how mu home music yeah. works. Yeah. You always take inspiration, do your own twist, and that's we how still do uh, reaction works. content now on one of the channels. Yeah, I mean, we split the channels again. So now it's Shazam. I think I'm verified again. Wait, wait, you lose your verified thing when you change your name? Yeah. Oh, oh. wow. And on, yeah, that's why on uh, TikTok, I will never have another name. <laughs> I guess. Ah, I see. <laughs> because I got verified early on because uh, connections. Okay. And I also wrote it like, can I, when, if I change the name, because I, it would be cool to just be Shazam, not Shazam official. On a verified account, it's kind of <laughs> kind of weird, but she's like, yeah, if you change it, you have to apply again and it probably won't work. Oh, um, wow. Okay. 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 But yeah, I will probably on my channel try a lot of things, but also do reaction because I mean, I'm watch the videos anyway, at least the good videos that I'm going to stream from time to time mm -hmm. and then Sergei is doing. But then it will be just, Shazam React. 
Like placeholder. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would see at this this time, I feel like it's a bit like a new beginning for me. Yeah. I will just try out a lot of stuff. And so I'm hearing it, it's, if something works, it will be good. If if I have fun doing it, I will continue doing it. If not, I think with everything, if, if I just start now doing 300 reactions on my own, people will be like, oh, yeah, Shazam does the cool reactions. You know, if I will do 300 meditation videos now, Everyone will be like, Shazam's the meditation guy now. Mm -hmm. I think just whatever you do consistently, people will be like, oh yeah, that's yeah, yeah. that's what he does. Exactly. That's what I do. Yeah. It's like it's like for me, uh, he's the guy who gives man of culture to you. <laughs> yeah. That was good, man. That, that was like that, a complete fuck. Like everyone was doing that on the Swiss videos. Uh, I'm, Can I get a man of culture now? You know? <laughs> yeah. The funny thing is like, I, I, at one point I was talking to Sin Man, we need also something like this. It's <laughs> <laughs> too good. Then we started doing, being a real Oni-chan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It never stuck. It was like, shit. <laughs> shit, we ne also need a slogan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was so good. Yeah, yeah, also, yeah. yeah, but that's the it thing. It has to come naturally. Yeah, we tried to force the meeting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, that's that's what I'll try. Like some different stuff, also reactions, and then if it works. It so works. you're doing, uh, uh, as I'm hearing this correctly, you still want to do the content side of things. You you just kind kind of yeah. still want to do the same, but just without sin. And sin is just like not gonna do that much content now, and just producing music. Yeah, I mean, like at the moment, he's really super super focused on vocal to tie, mm. because uh, I think for him it's a good uh, first goal. I mean, it's, it's it's all you know, like when you want to reach something, it's hard to be like, I want to have a Grammy winning album. It's like, what? No, this is not how you start. Yeah. It's like, he's like, okay, my next competition is one and a half months. How good can I be at this competition? Mm -hmm. And he's really like practicing 10, 12 hours a day right now. In wow. Zoom. I don't want to push it up too much. I didn't hear anything yet. He's also, he he's never shows it. me stuff. Why is he yeah. not showing you? I thought you were the guy that... Yeah, I told he. I think he also knows, <laughs> but it would be better. But he's also really perfectionist, especially with his mix. I mean, that's why it's, his mix sounds so good, too. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think also. I mean, yeah, some people are like more show, but it's also you know it's hard to show someone else, especially if it's not finished and you're like. Ah, yeah, but that's why you show. Yeah. You know, I mean, you, I thought you guys were like yeah. that that honest to each other, so you can just like, uh, like yeah, yeah, we are. I mean, you're not shitting on his songs, like. So what what is this? No, the no. competition is the two months in. What what is this? No, like I think I mean we also talked about it a lot that he should do this. And I think to everyone out there, if you have someone you can show your stuff to even in the process, it helps a lot. Mm. Yeah. Uh but yeah, sometimes he feels like it, sometimes he doesn't. Okay. Yeah. It's um, like uh stuffing I, I can force him. Even to Ibarra do, is going. Know? I think I think he's still going at least. Yeah, he bought us. And he, he bought this new device that I completely forgot the name of, and he is using the old loop station still. He didn't just didn't buy the new one. He's like, this new device, yeah. Bjard, it's the best device, and no one has it. And I've seen it; it looks nice, but I've never. I don't know what it is. It's a completely it's, it's a completely other <laughs> device. I've never seen a beatboxer okay. use it, so I'm, okay. I'm excited. I mean, let's uh, not spill the beans, but Sin is not using an RC four four five. Boom. <laughs> He's, he's not using an RC505? I think. But he he's not using it. <laughs> so he's going <laughs> back to the food looper. Like, <laughs> the two paddles. <laughs> like a clip. Oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, he, he just, no, but yeah. yeah. I think the new loop, I mean, I have it too. And I used it for, MH was here like visiting us or for an event. And he was. I was like, bro, just show me how, what, what's up with the shit. And he was like, this is how you do the perfect kick. <laughs> So wow, wow! But actually, if you record it, it doesn't work. It's like what? Yeah, because inside it kind of like overgains, and then if you if you hear it on your headphones, it's good. But if you want to record it, you have to put these two other effects. So I was like, okay, I don't care. <laughs> it's a, it's, a, yes, it's a completely different looping. looper. It's um, it's completely shit. Like I mean, you can do a lot of other stuff, but for me, it was too complicated. And but Sin is using know. it. You mean? I'm we're talking about the same thing now. We're talking about the MK2. No, right I now. mean, I mean, you're talking about the first time you've seen this looper that Sin is using now. Is that? I oh, know that's the first time I saw the MK2. Yeah. yeah. Ah. Okay. I mean, even Sin was in the kickback battle, the looping kickback thing. Yeah. And then he had the new loop station, and I mean, we all there were like still a lot of bugs in it, yeah. and so he's he. So he dropped man, out of the competition. Man, there's still so much. Like uh, I remember uh, Robin. Um, 
this weekend he was performing a showcase at the uh, Robit Award. Uh, and he came backstage after the sound check. He was like, guys, all my presets are deleted. Like the, <laughs> the, the, the loop section would just shut down and like some of these presets would, would be deleted. And he, to, he had to reprogram some. What? That's, yeah. I had this with the MK1 once that I performed and it gave like an error and it just, uh, I couldn't uh, perform anymore. Yes. I was in China. I was just doing a jury showcase in China and like the complete loop station. Like I'm not a uh, great looper, but my show was going okay. And the whole thing yeah. turned turned off. So you had to like, the audience has to wait for you to turn on the back, uh, the device back on and start your entire loop again. The same thing they've they've heard before. So like, <laughs> oh, it's so yeah. MB14 had that once in in GBB 2017. Oh yeah, because you pulled out the the the, the yeah. plugin. So and the 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 plugin. Uh, the, the, <laughs> the plug. <laughs> yeah, but the whole thing was like you the already like two minute two minutes thirty or something. Already done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then yeah. Like, he started new. Yeah, uh, I think it was against Lizza. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was so funny. By the way, I shot up. Did we to, did we cut it out? To, uh, Jangze, he got, just gave me the nice. shirt, oh. and we probably Sin and I gonna go to uh, to China. Sick. And I'm um, gonna do some shows like our last shows as Oni Chan. Oh. When are you because going? Because we're in in Japan end of August. Yeah. For like a, a beatbox event. Yeah. And then after Jungs was like, yeah, if you're in China already, just come over. We can have, like, do some shows, have some fun. Hope. So yeah. that's why I also won't be a German champs. Sorry. Oh, I what a see. pity. Yeah. Again, not competing. <laughs> yeah, yeah I don't, I'm not sure at the moment if I will ever compete. Yeah. Because, like, the more I think about, like, I also have to say a shout out to the podcast with, with Mr. Wobbles. Yeah. It really also like made me reflect on battling and how senseless. I mean, for everyone, it's a lot of fun mm -hmm. to battle and be on stage and like do this and win the battle is cool. But the whole preparation is goes into the whole psychology. And also the told like one of my students, he really wanted to compete in uh, East Ger South German champs. And then I talked a bit with him like, yeah, I mean, don't stress it. You didn't win a wild card is cool. But imagine you would compete at this event. Either you go there. You go through the entire competition, your your night is so stressful. You have to battle again, your adrenaline goes up. You like go off stage, Fresh. was I good enough? Was I not good enough? Even when you win, then you win and then people come like, yeah, but actually the other guy was better. Or mm. actually in this, like even when you win the best outcome of the night, people will give you a bad feeling. You'll be super tired after because the whole stress going down. Yeah. Or you you make a good elimination and then you don't get, don't get into the battles and you're like, why? And you especially if you're younger, they're like, ah, oh, man, why? I, I thought I'm good enough. And people told me I'm good enough. And this Ish. jury guy who's who thinks B. Lewis doesn't you know anything about beatbox. It's like, yes, he knows. <laughs> <laughs> he invented this thing yeah. <laughs> so, like but uh, people come up with this whole like and they can't enjoy the night at all but if you just go you you watch the battles you watch the showcase you can have have a beer before you have good time i think most of the time it's better just to go there and have fun and not compete mm. especially i mean you guys know maddox especially you won three times what happened nothing biat was like Vice World Champion, third place GBB, best elimination GBB. People, I think people don't say this enough. In the best GBB of all time. That's true. Beard had the best elimination. That's crazy. Yeah, that's yeah. True. And I'm making uh, money from workshops. <laughs> I'm not. I'm, yeah, it's, like, see, it's, it's like that's my source of income. I'm going to uh, schools. I'm Bro, teaching can kids. You, can you show the speaker once again? What? <laughs> Can you show the T-shirt again? Hey. The speaker. <laughs> no, the man. Speaker, I, the speaker. No, I mean, like the I think there's a place want. and a time. I mean, we're, we're shitting on uh, uh, on on battles a lot, but I think, like, especially as a kid, it was more effortless. Uh, the 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 older I got, yeah. the more effort it takes to to prepare a routine, and the less you get back for it. Um, yeah, I mean, I also I did like I don't know. In Germany, there were so many battles for a while that weren't recorded, so you don't know them. But Bilo was basically every hip hop event that was in Germany. Yeah. He was like, "Yo, I got eight beatboxes, Shazam, Maddox. You want to get in?" It was we always had the best time of our yeah. lives. Mm, Shout yeah. out Bilo. We that went to so Splash. Sick. I mean, also like Bia, we went to Fraunfeld. <laughs> Love we that did time like, there. 
<laughs> we just had the best times always everywhere in Germany, traveling around. I mean, there was no money involved or anything, but we we had a good time. We were beatboxing. We I saw battles. Eminem live. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. And and then I mean, but then you like you battle a lot, and then it's kind of for fun, especially when there's no cameras. We had like the best time of our lives. So battling can be a lot of fun. I think when you take it too serious and hang yourself up on the like, oh, I'm not a good beatboxer because I lost this battle, then mm. it kind of gets dangerous. Yeah, yeah. I I saw this like uh, I'm not sure if I can I can say it. Uh, he's a good friend. I, I'm just gonna say it. Foxy was really disappointed of himself at the South German oh, champs yeah. because he didn't make it into the battles. But to be fair, I think he was good enough. It's just that the sound system was absolutely not in, in favor of his style because he yeah. uses a lot of bass sounds and he can sound really good. I, I remember him uh, performing at uh, West German champs. And, and he also, I mean, he's also one of my students. Yeah. He's, he's <laughs> good. He, he, didn't, he, didn't get the, he didn't get the lesson before. Like with Ferris, I had a long lesson on, on Thursday still. Yeah. We went through all his routines, when he should do what, what he should let go. And let, with Lesko, I had the same up before the West German champs, but it kind of, I think, yeah. applied, applied the same stuff. Yeah, sick. So, but yeah, Foxy that's didn't why, do that. That's I think. why all the beatbox getting so good. Okay. Yeah, yeah they get the... The Shazam the spice. And with a lot of the new, the new school beatboxers, I feel it's more like, I always just want to do less. Please just yeah <laughs> because they're always doing like 80 fillers in every second and then there's like just do the bass there's in the no beginning. time to breathe yeah, yeah. bro and when you do your filler yeah. then it will hit hard but if you do it like when Bia is doing beatbox he's not going it's crazy filler in the beginning it's just not like in every second when you could just breathe and just let the the sound work yeah for, for most of the students I was like just do less yeah yeah here do nothing don't say yeah 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 make a break yeah look at the judges and wink yeah <laughs> with ferris at that he said this he had something in his elimination was saying T -t -t. and then again T -t -t. do it one time to the to the crowd one time to the to the to the judges yeah. i don't know if he did it but if he did it i'm, I'm sure it gave him points yeah so uh it's wait I think I'm mistaking uh there's one one guy liqui i think he's he's called Lick. do you know this guy Liqui? No. It's it's spelled like liquid, but without a Liqui. Sounds like a Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. Liquid, go. He was, he was he had also like a, <laughs> he also had a really similar approach. Like he performed like a really uh, minimalistic techno routine. And, but it sounded so good. You know, it was, it was yeah. so, it was so nicely done. And he won the battle at the end. Um, and it's uh, like, like this round he won. Um, it was so nice and like for me it was so refreshing to hear this because everyone else was struggling so much executing their routines um because it was just too hard to do and he would focus yeah. just on the quality and like every kick was sitting in the right place the the throw bass sounded really uh really pleasant to the ears it was really dope and yeah like right now like sometimes i'm not sure if it's me just getting old or if this is like the <laughs> yes yeah probably <laughs> <laughs> probably like like i remember roxy loops told me that like i was like oh man everyone's sounding so messy right now uh, today and i think people should focus more on the basics and he and roxy loops told me like oh maddox you're getting old right now <laughs> yeah. welcome welcome to the 30 club <laughs> yeah because it's always been yeah. messy like like when we yeah. started beatboxing it was also messy, but we were messy, you know? And <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, but that's also the thing I want to focus on the most in the future is like, like beatbox, like Marcus Perez or something, like really clean, like, like codfish. Like you just, ah, you just want to listen to even, it's so funny because a lot of times I show beatbox to non-beatboxers because I'm really interested in what they think mm -hmm. and I show them different stuff. Yeah. And like with Dan, like especially moments we had people fall in love with with beatbox just from this one routine yeah. or with shogo yeah. they're like what the how, like i had literally like people fall in love with shogo just from two videos like and now stalking him like being the biggest fans mm -hmm. and then yeah i show them like even dilo they're like oh that's really cool but it's like they are not like so artistically interested yeah you know what i mean yeah. 
Yeah. And even, but also inertia. It's like people are like, oh my God, let's yeah, because, it. because I want to listen more mm, to this. It's because after GBB, it was like, I asked people, what was the coolest thing? Mm -hmm. Everyone told me inertia. Yeah. <laughs> inertia. Yeah. True. Yeah, like, 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 yeah, like there's beatbox. <laughs> so I, I think there's beatboxes making beatbox for beatboxes, and there's beatboxes making beatbox for a bigger audience. And like, yeah. you know, if you compare like Barry Rom and D-Lo, two really, yeah. really different approaches. Like D-Lo, D-Lo making, uh, making music for musicians. Uh, and But I also think it's, it's important. I, I, I talked to, to River and Collabs at Bayreuth, or more or less talking, but just saying thank you to them because when I saw them perform again, I was like, oh my God, you guys got even better now. Yeah. Like, like you guys really pushing beatbox to its limits yeah. right now, like, and pushing, pushing further. Yeah. Not, not really interesting for the mainstream, I guess. Yeah. If like you're in what snare gets even cleaner. Yeah. No <laughs> like, one cares. Yeah. No one cares, yeah. but like in the mainstream, and the beatbox is crazy. And like for us, just seeing this, how, how clean you can become mm -hmm. and p doing even two more snares at the same time. But to like, be damn. honest, like River performed at the uh, European Champs. He did a showcase and um, he had a more minimalistic approach. Like he would start with one minute just singing and just do a snare on top of it. And it was so good. And then, and then he, when the drop came in, he did the drop like, um, way, way slower than usually, you know? So, uh -huh. you, so, so you could focus more on the details, but it was so clean and it was so musical. Like I really, really enjoyed it. Like, I, I feel like River right now, at least for showcases, he has a, he has a different approach now also. Like um, he he really really understands uh, how to uh, how to perform for a bigger audience. I feel like, yeah. Yeah, he was also in Berlin a few weeks or months ago. I don't know. Okay. Performing like there was a Resonance concert. Yeah. And there was Sideshow playing, and the crowd the crowd was okay. Freddie was playing. Yeah. Like doing a comedy mm. set. The crowd was also okay. I would I would have guessed that the crowd was going completely wild for Freddie. Yeah. But then, and the Resonance played, of course, but without Marvelin, so it was like not completely full. Mm. Uh, they had to change a lot of stuff. But then, yeah, River did a showcase, and that's where the crowd went the craziest. Wow. Mm -hmm. wow. I, feel, I feel like still, maybe because I feel like still this just one guy, one mic, it's just this magic, and you yeah. know it's just him or her doing that right now. Yeah. Yeah, true. Yeah, but, th but then also River right now, like he gets so good in singing. Yeah. Like maybe not technically, but like just the voice and the feeling. Feeling, it, right? Yeah, the yeah. soul. And, and and I mean, in singing, it's the same with like beatboxing. You can be the most technical singer, but yeah. uh, if there's no soul inside, no one will. Everyone will be ah cool, but but they will still listen to uh, to Charlie Puth or or yeah. to to the weekend, you know? Because I mean, sometimes you have like, especially on TikTok, you see some people doing the craziest scales, and no one cares. There's some people that are just in the bathroom, they sing one note. Mm. And you're like, oh, mm -hmm. damn. Like, I mean, there's this one German singer. Uh, Anne Mai Kantereit. Anne Mai Kantereit, exactly. <laughs> Henning Mai. <laughs> <I knew> <laughs> he has this crazy voice. I mean, they also went like super viral on TikTok. Yeah. And he has this voice, he sings one note. Yeah. And he's like, oh, my, my heart is bleeding. Yeah. Like, it I feel like, like love and pain I never felt in my life yeah. before. Like, like Just when from he start, hearing one when note. He start, when he starts singing, it sounds like his whole family and five of his girlfriends broke up with him at the same time. <laughs> yeah. You know, like What's his name? I want to check him out. <laughs> Henning, Henning Mai. Oh, my God. Henning. So, yeah. But don't listen, don't listen to the studio okay. things. Okay. But uh, yeah, his life and also his entire YouTube channel of the band. Yeah. It's him. They also only do live performances mm. on, on the on the on the YouTube channel, mm. and oh my god, they're so and also the lyrics. I mean, they're in German, but you probably will understand them. Yeah. Beard. They are they are really really deep. Like they really say a lot of stuff with uh, just a few words. It's, uh, for me, it's by far the best German oh. band. Mm -hmm. There's man. There's like one. I remember there was there, there's a video of of him. Um, I think with two other singers and they perform a cover song. Da, 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 maybe this. <laughs> and then I feel so oh, I know yeah. that one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Is him? That's him. Is he yeah. German? Yes. Yeah. And they start like 
the other guy is also good singer like I'm sitting in What? the morning oh. da -da -da -da. yeah and it's good and the fear is only yeah. Yeah. And this part was like yes what? okay yeah, yes. I was blown away by this part yeah. too yeah, yeah. that's so that good that is, is yeah like I had the same feeling I felt like oh the, this guy is good and then the second one starts singing and you're like oh my gosh he's the best singer in the world yeah. like yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and I mean he's also I don't know now he's like 33 or something But he still looks like super young. Yeah. And, but he sounds like a 65 year old who smoked, yes, smoked yes. cigars and would drink whiskey. Yes. What like. vape is this? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but so I think yeah, they, they started off as street musicians yeah. and they, they, they never had a uh, amplifier. So one guy was playing guitar, one was playing cajon, and he was just screaming on the street for years. So that's <laughs> he why was his just voice screaming to him like this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But he's actually doing bass line. That's the weirdest thing. There was an interview yeah. of him like saying how he sings, the singing technique. Mm -hmm. And he was like, oh, I do this and when I sing. But then he's like using like 20% of bass line, just, just blending it in sometimes. Mm. I, I thought this. Yeah. I don't know. I you always sing. say bass like <laughs> I know. I, I always bass say bass like, like this. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, throat bass and he's really doing a good throat bass. And then like blending it in a little bit. Nice. Yeah. I now remember meeting him at like a event during Corona. Yeah. And uh, I talked to him about, and I was like the biggest fan. And Sin was also the biggest fan. Like we we were starstruck when he was there. Yeah. I came back from the toilet and someone was sitting on the couch and he was sitting next to Sin and Sin was looking at me like. <laughs> and I was I like, tell, yo, yeah. hey, Henning, yeah. <laughs> you're a really big fan. Can we take a picture? It's like. For what? Uh, like, uh, for us. <laughs> and then we start, just started a conversation. We told him about beatboxing and it was like, oh yeah, beatbox, so cool. I really love it. And then, can you do this? Oh. And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And it's like, oh yeah, not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> He's dissing you guys. <laughs> <laughs> and then he was doing a bit like, and someone was like, yeah, maybe you should use a snare as well. Oh yeah, snare. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> like, <laughs> That's funny. It was so surreal. I, I was just sitting there like, what the f*** is just going yeah. on? Talk to Henning Mai about beatbox. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, he's, And he I used, don't know how he came up with this topic. He uses <laughs> throat bass for, man, I, I was always wondering like, when, when does a singer actually use a throat bass? And there was this one Italian guy back in the day, you remember? It was like, I like Wold Mariana, Bimi yeah, yeah, yeah. Mani Diva. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, and it was so viral in the beatbox yeah, scene. The Italian yeah. guy was just doing. singing and yeah, yeah, it was so good. <laughs> yeah. Damn. And there's also this one guy where Napalm does the cover of this. Ima imagine, imagine. I don't know, black dude in the car is like, meow, here we go. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Something. yeah like I the mean, it's, sometimes it's used. Yeah. Yeah, true. Yeah, but it, like every time it feels like, like it, it's not like as forced, right? Like when, whenever you like 95% of beatboxes, when they do throw bass, it sounds kind of forced, you know, that doesn't sound like uh, when you see a singer, you think like it's his natural voice right now. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I feel like this is like a blending <clears throat> thing Yeah. of like using maybe 20, 30%. Yeah. Mm. I, I don't know. True. Like, co like codfish is super pleasant yes exactly yeah man yeah and marcus yeah that's that, that's sure. the thing like i i also like my my approach right now is like to get my throat base this good so it's like it sounds good even to people who are not beatboxers you know so But you know the secret of codfish should i spill the beans spill what he told me what he's the doing beans. what is it i mean we need some clickbait right now he told me back and when i was in australia like 2018 i think yeah. that he's normally every day using vocal warm-up like a mm -hmm. like a video on youtube and then he does the same but with the thought base mm. so la 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 mm -hmm. la 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 mm -hmm. and so he kind of uses as a singing voice Dude, you have you have such a such a crazy top harmonics yeah. in your in your bass <coughs> oh, I should beatbox more. <laughs> yeah. Well, talking about yeah. it, the wheel of spit, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> should I, should I? Well, actually, <laughs> yeah. The last the last few weeks, I didn't beatbox a lot, but you know what's funny? Like, I I think I listen to every of you guys' yeah. podcast, oh, except the one of Beatbox Bottle TV. 
because I was recording it with you. <laughs> no, but <laughs> actually, it's the only episode I didn't watch. But always I stop before the wheel, so I don't know. <laughs> I actually haven't seen uh, one of the wheels. The wheels, the wheels are actually oh, good. Okay. Like, uh, uh, last last week or two weeks ago, we had uh, Mark A, uh, Mark Perez, and he did the. Yeah, that was such the, a good podcast. He, he did the sickest beat, and he's like, "Well, that was the biggest shit I've ever done in my life." And that we were like, "Okay, I, used to I know, critical. I know." You, you see it in the podcast, but, but that, that was also yeah. the that was also the longest uh, beatbox piece e ever would witness of Marcus Perez. One minute of but you <laughs> you always put like good good settings on, right, Maddox? <laughs> of course. It's so, so it's always good. Yeah. <laughs> no, but but I, I remember talking to him because I mean he also said like we had a long call with Marcus like yeah, he, before. He, he told us he told us that he, uh, you And were, he reminded me so much of Tuttle. <laughs> like with this uh, perfectionism yeah, yeah. and yeah, I only want to put something out when it's perfect. Yeah. It's so funny. Actually these two are so similar. Yeah, also <laughs> like the, the one they approach, like how humble they are. Yeah, super humble, and they were like, "Hey, okay, actually, I'm not good." And we we caught it also something with him, but he was like, "Ah, my vibration is not 100% right now." No, oh man, I'm so yeah. happy. I'm not I like can't like, upload also, it. So like that's why I put out way more shit shit content, you know. But they're both so yeah, successful. Yeah, I know. So maybe, maybe maybe I should. Yeah, we have the wheel of spit. Let's do it right now. <laughs> and you've never seen it before. Mm. Well, it's it's basically yeah. a wheel that is made of spit. And um, there's basically a couple of challenges like uh, no high hats, for instance, or uh, no spit snare, or drum and bass only, or no hand movement, or whatever. There, there are a couple of things, and um, we're gonna we're gonna spin the wheel of spit 2.0, <laughs> the new and improved yes, one. Oh. Um, are you ready? We're gonna do uh, one minute, Maddox. One minute. Oh God, I didn't beatbox for one minute. <laughs> <laughs> At the moment, I just go to the gym and do other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> But I want to get into beatboxing again, nice. so this is my start. Nice. We're gonna <laughs> tap it, and then Maddox said uh, we're gonna count down, and um, you can start directly. I think uh, I think you'd be able to do this easily. Go for it, bro! Too much, too no much talking. intro, huh? Too much. No, yeah. the good thing is if I uh, now and then I will practice again and start uploading beatbox videos again. They were like, "Oh, he can yeah. actually beatbox." <laughs> yeah, but I I have to also split the beats. <laughs> oh come on! B about BR, do you remember when we were at our place? Yeah, <laughs> and we we're like uh, like uh, recording content or something, and we we're like, "Let's do a circle jam." <laughs> and BR was like, "No." <laughs> No, I can't. <laughs> I can't do solo beatbox right now. <laughs> It's like what? No, I don't. <laughs> I <laughs> we're like, are you kidding me? Right now? And That's then we funny. didn't record it. No, I would, I would not love it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Fuck, it would have been horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a perfectionist. But that would have been shit. <laughs> that was beer. Was not doing a circle jam. Yeah, That's funny. Um, spin the wheel, bro. Come on. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, what is it gonna be? What is it gonna be? No, <coughs> no, no face. face. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god, that's a good okay, one. Okay, huh? bro. Yeah. So no baseline for you. Just no baseline. So no baseline. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the only sound I can do right now. In no, okay. three, two, one. Beatbox. so hard <laughs> and that's time oh. yes <laughs> man i can tell Shit. for me it would be also the hardest yeah. thing to no not do a throw yeah my entire there was no throw no throw no throw <laughs> what can i do
I'm so I'm so happy we didn't have Northrop as for Marcus Perez. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's like doop 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 doop. Yeah. But actually, I think it could do a good beat. Yeah. Because his one third bass is no third bass. I think he lied. The deep one, ah. I feel like, was misinformation. You, you think it's 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 a vibration bass? <clears throat> or what do you mean? I don't know. Or more like a sub harmonic because. Actually, when you when you went deep, there's not much normal bass in there because I feel like I have a kind of similar um, like low throat mm -hmm. bass when I got on and I put like more and more vocal fry in it the lower mm -hmm. I go. <clears throat> so when I go, it's like it's still the same vibration, mm -hmm. but I don't know. I think he's putting like a bit of. Uh, chest, chest bass, no vocalized chest bass in it or something. Mm. Like it doesn't sound like a deep bass line. Mm. I, lo I love that. Maybe oh this God. podcast is such for nerds because I, I can just hear the normal normal person that is just enjoying beatbox battles listening to this. It's just a touch of vocal fry with a superharmonic, <laughs> and, <then>, and we <laughs> were like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then at the same time, uh, Shazam still calls Thorpe his bass. Right? <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, that's true too. So yeah, we need David Lassel back to to explain. Uh, yeah, man, he David, stopped David should, should analyze the video after he after he did the hit piece on us. He oh. he went away. <laughs> I, I I you think you think too much too much backlash, so he stopped doing beatbox content. Nah, I think he's the. I, I don't know. Sin talked to him once, so uh, I think wait who yeah. cool, but uh, Sin, you know David, David Larson, La David with oh. a long, <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh yeah, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, with the long hair. No, he did a uh, yeah. I think this was the last beatbox video he did about uh, the whole yeah. Thomas Sarko thing. But I think yeah, just because the whole scene got really toxic. Yeah, it, I, I, and it was actually the funniest thing ever <laughs> because <laughs> one morning I came out. And tall, like Sin was also coming out of the room and was like, uh, yesterday I talked with David Larson. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> like, I like, we, we talked for two hours and everything is good, but he talked with a really deep voice. It was like, huh? why <laughs> is your voice now deeper because he's <laughs> talked with the bass singer or what? What, what, what the <laughs> fuck? I talked with David Larson last night. <laughs> but then they talked about everything. I think we're cool. So, yeah. but after that, he stopped doing beatbox videos. I don't know why, yeah. but there was also a lot of like yeah, it, it, bad it, comments so, so, and I shit. I think you so. both meant good. I think I think in real life you would have you guys would have been friends. Yes. You know what I mean? I think with actually every nearly every beatbox beef, that's the case. Like if you meet each other in real life, I mean there was so much shit happening even before before the whole uh, GBB thing. I mean people I think forgot because the after GBB thing was way bigger, but there was literally. The top of the top beatboxers doing live stream saying, please don't watch Maddox and Shazam and Sin. They're super toxic for mm -hmm. the scene. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I mean, there was, and then we all met at GBB and was like, oh, yeah, actually, sorry. I was just also in a bad place. I didn't mean it like this. I mean, we're all cool, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two weeks after the events, like, <laughs> yo, beat, beat, reaction videos destroy the beatbox scene. Yeah. I would never do reaction videos. And the same person one month later starts a reaction channel. It's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> really, I don't want to say any names, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So okay, suddenly our people make analysis and reaction videos. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Before, like, uh, and yeah, man, Shazam and Ten, they do so much. Yeah, I mean, yeah. but it's all too. For me, like, I also reflected a lot on that time because for a few time it was really hard, especially when we did the BBU. Yeah. I mean, I I can be open now. I mean, it's so long ago. <laughs> you you were the participants yeah. too, like. The moment I told you guys you are in the competition, we're like, just so you know, Thomas Sacre is in the competition. You have a few days to decide if you want to join this competition. We will let him in because of the states of how the thing is right yeah. now. If you want to join, join. Otherwise, we will not say you want to work out anything. We can leave you out completely. No problem at all, but he will yeah. be in. Mm -hmm. everyone, everyone was like, we have the... We filmed the yeah. whole conversation. We have it of everyone. Yeah, everyone agreed. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone's yeah. like, okay. And then people dropped out two days before their battle because I don't want to be in yeah. Thomas Sacco in the same competition. Yeah. Like, oh, well. By the way, can I say why I, why I thought for me, it's not a problem that he's inside. Yeah. So for me, it was like, so he was accused to, to, to do something, st some yeah. stuff, but it wasn't proved yet. 
Yeah. And if it would be a live event, I would be like, okay, in case he did it, we don't know, but uh, there is some chances that he did it. So he can be a danger for the event if he's yes. present there, right? But since yeah. this was just an online event, he wasn't danger for anyone. But at the same time, there was no proof to yet cancel him completely. Yeah, that was also our logic. And until yeah, there's so like, that's why I, said, I mean, okay. there was a case and or no case for that time. And it was like, can we wait until he's like proven really? guilty or something? Actually, I have like, no clue what the case status is right now at all. Like, I also don't know. I mean, he's, I don't know. I, I don't have too much contact at the moment, but he's like going around living his life. He's not in prison yeah. or something. Yeah, exactly. You know? So, uh, so the court is not court convicted. Yeah. But it also with the, this whole thing takes months and months mm -hmm. and years yeah. to be fulfilled. I mean, there was other cases too. It took years. Yeah, exactly. And then that's the thing. Like even, I mean, we had the whole thing with Johnny Depp. It's like, I think there it went quicker because it's like a real high profile mm -hmm. case. But yeah, he lost all his, all his millions of dollars from working with Disney, Pirates of the Caribbean. And then at the end, he was like, oh, yeah, he's innocent. She made everything up or whatever the verdict yeah, was. Yeah. I don't know. Basically, basically that. Yeah, lies were destroyed. And we were at this point, we're like, what if, no one knows, what if maybe it's the same with Thomas Sakura? Should we stand here and like be like, oh, yeah, let's just wait and see what happens. And until then, just cancel him. Mm, yeah. We're like, And I, I was always thinking about if it would be me or it would be, Like, I mean, at that point, I wasn't even like super good friends with Thomas Sakura. I think if yeah. it would have been Beard or, or Maddox or like whatever, like we would have done the same and say like, let's wait until we know what happens yeah. and not destroy someone's life. Yeah. Yeah. And, and as I said, like, if it would be like, okay, we need to put him together with someone and there's, there's a chance that he, that he is a violent person. Um, yeah. Then I, I absolutely understand if people say, I don't want to have him there, but since this was just an online competition, um, he couldn't put any harm on a person. Yeah, um, I mean, he could. <laughs> <laughs> What? Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> but, killing him with his beat. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, my yeah, God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get no, get <laughs> oh, such a bad job. Oh, No, 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 no. Talking about, well, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about the battle um, that Jordan talk, talk, talking about Jordan. talking about delivery of uh, of stand up <laughs> jokes. <laughs> I mean, it would have been a crazy battle. Yeah, would have yeah. been. Yeah. Jordan said this whole thing, but I really like. Even if it's true or not, the whole thing it's such yeah, a good battle. Uh, yeah, I was, I was like, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. True. We're in. True. Yeah, but that's I think for me also this like totally cool to do it in a battle because it's a battle you know there's also like before the whole concept of bbu by the way we stole from a german youtuber yeah. by the name of julian's mm. block yeah he did the same but for rap battle and we literally also he had this going on for four years and it was super super successful in germany mm -hmm. like yeah. careers were built out of there And he every year changed the point system, you know, because also in the beginning we got so much backlash for what you only give one point for this mm. and the categories are so shit and you should invite other judges to do it. And like everyone was in, have opinions about it. And we literally, he did it over four years and perfected the system every yeah. year and every year. So we're like, okay, it works. We kind of tweak a little bit for beatbox, but not really. And just take the same thing. And then like, It worked. I mean, also after now, I will say like, I'm 100% happy that we didn't listen to what people said we should do and just yeah. did what we thought is the best yeah. with the point system and everything. And I think, I think yeah, the only backlash we got is for one point we gave this whole technicality point for helium against inertia uh, yeah, yeah. one point and like 280 points yeah. or 300 points we discussed individually on every video yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And this was like the thing where people were like, oh, nice judging. Yeah. But it worked, it worked really well. It worked really well. Also with the the crowd voting, it was just like, it had its place, but it was not like the overhand, like some battles. Yeah. <laughs> like other battles. Yeah, <laughs> some <laughs> other battles. <laughs> yeah, like, oh I, don't, I mean, God. I don't follow closely, but like all the German loopers are out yeah. <laughs> of the Beatland battle. And they're like, the, I mean, I don't want to be like too patriotic right now, but 
the German loopers are like the best of the best right now in the world. Like Sigil, Slather, and Chaos. Yeah, I mean, free, I mean the voting, the make the voting in, is yeah, completely chaos. up to up to whoever can make the most emails on an email generator. No, I'm, I'm kidding. But like that's that's how you can do it. Like uh, I've, yeah, I've, you can yeah, hack it, it, yeah. it's really easy to create something temporary on the internet and vote. Yeah, and um, like. You can make a you can make basically a bot and just vote and constantly. Like I, I can I, if you would like, want I to. I can be, I can be honest. Like I, one hundred percent disagree that BR lost against CJ. CJ did, is good, uh, amazing. BR lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> As a vote, I was like, I, I started voting. CJ I was is like, amazing. I was like, I was like yeah, what? It's, it's yeah, it's public vote. I'm like, yeah, but also there's there's no video point or anything. There's also right? no no video explaining no, no, no. nothing. You don't you don't see any of the brackets going forward. You like. Nobody has a clue where the battle is at at any point. Um, yeah, I think that was the thing about BBU that worked so well because we literally sat down. I mean, also, we, I'm really aware of that we just said what we want to have. Like we said at this video point, we didn't like yeah. this and this, so yeah. we didn't give the point. This audio we didn't like, which is totally like this just is our taste, you so guys. if you want to win, <laughs> do it. Yeah, I thought they yeah, would. Yeah, me too, me too. Yeah. <laughs> so I was kind of happy about they would like, copy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I was also hoping they'd do the same thing. I was also like, okay, cool. Like, I mean, the concept as well is, I mean, also, I don't know, like we said, it's not like we had secrets about the battle. Like, we're like, we do it exactly like this. And if you want to win, do it like yeah. this. Yeah. And if people, if they would have the money right now, they could just do the same event. So I think the only like, difference, the only difference between your judging and the judging of others is other judges are not transparent. No, no judge ever yeah. tell you, tells you exactly why. They would be like, oh yeah, so he was a little bit more original. And then the way the sound would translate to black, bullshit. That's, n oh, that's yes. not always true, Maddox. You know, like Bro, that's not so no, often. I, I also, I have to say also had like a lot of conversations with River about, because obviously i'm really into inertia like i think everyone knows <laughs> and then like at bayreuth he battled against vokoda and for me it was like a destruction first round of of inertia against vokoda yeah. like and then river gave the point to vokoda and the after was like what how it was like yeah for me the one round inertia wasn't in time and for me that's a really big criteria for me as a judge yeah to be I like mean. on time the entire time so i can't give him the point i was like okay i respect that because that's his opinion for me i don't care about if someone's out of time once or twice mm. if like the the feeling is there but that's like a valid opinion as a judge. Yeah. You can have this yeah, yeah. or this. But, but if it's just like <laughs> that's why that's why we no need, explanation. That's why we need judges for individual topics. No, no, no I, don't I don't like that at all. That. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no one, no one likes it. But for me, it's still the because the whole your the shootout battle. No, what was the one beatbox international throwdown? For me, it didn't work at all with that system. Why? I just re I mean, Sin and me were hosting it. Yeah. And I just remember every second battle, I was like, you didn't agree. I don't agree with the winning. Yeah, it's, 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 <laughs> it's difficult yeah. too. Okay, we did but it with a German champ. But it's also and uh, for looping. I mean, I mean, just because just because you didn't agree, I mean, you still can disagree with people. With, yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, yes, yeah, also not like my opinion is always right. You know, no, no. The, the that's the thing with like the judging in the same battle. Two people who know a lot about beatbox could have come. I mean, Kotfrich is the best example. Like I, I talked to a lot of well reputated, especially French and Belgian beatboxers. I don't want to say any names. And they say, said like for them it's a joke that Cutfish won GBB. Yeah. Like they can't believe that he won GBB. Yeah. Like with, with a straight face saying, yeah, for okay. me, it's, I can't. It, and I'm like, what for me? Yeah. It's like the yeah. clearest. Yeah, it's pretty clear. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> but that's the thing. And they are like national champions world champions everyone that's like there's no right or wrong at beatbox that's the thing yeah. with judging yeah, yeah. right yeah there's no like yeah. this guy was jumping higher than this guy yeah so i think of of course it's always going to be um subjective because we are judging art and not 100 meter run uh, yeah but at least if you if you if as an as an audience or as a, as a person that watches the decisions if if the judge is transparent and he, if if you know why he was judging in a certain way, at least you have yeah, a basis this... for for a discussion, right? You can be like, okay, so you you said that he was better with his execution, but why? 
like what what is it exactly that uh, th that you would think that he was executing that he was more yeah. powerful or whatever it is you know but if it's just like you see the judge voting like this or like that but you never know why you know it could be anything and and like no one can learn from this then at the end of the time i think i also am really happy that we started uh, posting judging results like also with the elimination and everything because i think i'm not sure if we invented it in We're germany posting it like the first time we posted was 2017 when me Gepo and EBM organized the German yeah. championship and we because I was organizing yeah. as well I wanted to have every decision as transparent as possible because I was also competing mm -hmm. so and I wanted to make like no debate about that I kind of cheated myself into yeah. winning if I would win yeah. so we were like this is the judging result we were like doing a live stream putting the names out of a head and shit like And there we posted the judging results and people were like, oh my God, that's actually good. But I also think the Canadians said it before. But it, like, just to be transparent, because also me as a, I don't organize anymore, like only if it would be BBU or something. I, w I would look back at people judging events and see like, how did they judge? And do I want at my event this kind of judging that goes in this direction? Yeah. Or do I want to, because that's at BBU, we wanted to, create something like Dan and his. Like yeah. this was actually our goal mm -hmm. to have this. So we try to, how can we build the system that this helps? You know what I mean? Yeah. And if you have a beatbox battle, you have a certain vision in mind yeah. and you have to create the judging and the judges to help that vision kind of. I mean, I mean, that's the thing. Like right now we just have beatbox battles, but like if you look at dancing, for example, you have battles in very different categories. Like there's break dancing, there's hip hop, oh, there's yeah. popping, and even like and and it's it's not only about the style, but also like uh, the way that they would they would execute stuff. Like people would look at certain things differently. And and I mean like if you would go to a a cappella competition and compare it to a beatbox competition, like probably like you, you can send a beatbox, like you can send codfish to a cappella thing, and they would love him and. Then you send D'Lo and they don't understand what the f*** is going on, you know? But then you send both people to a, a beatbox event and then uh, people would go crazy on the technicality of D'Lo and the others would say, oh, the codfish again, just doing throw bass, you know? So it's like... Do you know one thing I just realized, which beatboxers should do way more? Uh, because I saw a documentary about Ed Sheeran. Yeah. Uh, how he got famous. And he was, uh, it's like, it's called like Blue Ocean Strategy, low marketing talk. Oh, here oh. we go, here we go. <laughs> There's a Blue Ocean Strategy, you know, back in the day with like the pirates and everything, when there was a lot of war going on, like there was a lot of blood in the water and you didn't want to go there because there's a lot of war, there's a lot of happenings, very hard to win. Yeah. But if you go to Blue Ocean, it's free. You can just go there and get everything. You're not really the best pirate or anything but there's no one there so you can just go yeah, yeah. same as with like beatbox or Ed Sheeran let's do it for Ed Sheeran was a singer songwriter and he was just going to sing a songwriter events and was always like okay another singer song my love my love like, boring I heard this a uh, 1000 times but then he went to like hip hop jams or he went to poetry j jams yeah. and there he was the only singer so he was special there yeah. and then maybe he wasn't the best at that time But it was like so new and he went to a market that wasn't really there yet mm. and made his new market. So there he was good yeah. in the blue ocean. And I mean, it's the same with Spencer X mm -hmm. or Marcus Perez. They went in a market where no one knew beatbox. Yeah. And like with like less skill, I mean, that's all discussion. You had to watch the Spencer X and the other podcast. Yeah. Then maybe others, they really mm. made a name for themselves. And I also... I mean, people don't know what I also had like some very, very good gigs in Germany, even like when I worked at Swiss Beatbox. I mean, for me, Swiss Beatbox was the same as Maddox. I worked a lot, a lot, a lot and didn't get a lot of money out of it to support and couldn't support myself completely. But at the same time, I was doing gigs in Germany a lot for like corporate shit. And it was like a, I was the only beatboxer they ever heard in their life. Mm -hmm. And I was there doing, I like to move it, move it. Or boop, 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 boop. Yeah. And they were yeah. all losing their minds. And if you would do it on a beatbox event, like people were shitting on you. But if I go to a corporate event and do this, 
you I would get paid like a thousand euros or more, like just for ten minutes of I like to move it, move it. And people would lose their minds. Yeah, true. Because they never heard beatbox. Yeah. Yeah. So for most beatboxes it would be actually way better to go outside the scene, try to go to like hip hop events or other events to show beatbox and then make like a name for themselves. I also know a few beatboxes in Germany you never heard of who are completely living off beatbox. And they are w like way worse technically than mm. people who beatbox for one year yeah. in yeah. the scene, really active. Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. So try to get like other avenues yeah, man. of not, not battling and do like your own stuff. <laughs> Beard, when it's funny. You, you 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 once said, "Man, we are getting into this anti beatbox battle podcast <laughs> because yeah. every, every guest is saying, guys, st stop Run, doing battles. Go now. You're young. <laughs> and like, uh, no, do it. Well, like, do it yeah. for fun. Yeah, yeah exactly. And it's, you yeah. learn so Don't much. Don't see it as a, a career yeah. option, yeah. but." I mean, there. maybe it could be that that was our goal with BBU. Yeah. yeah. Like to start off. I was hoping it would. If we would have had BBU mm. every every year or like twice a year, people could live from that. Yeah. Like the, depending on the country, but the winner got 10,000 euros and his own streaming revenue, yeah. which probably for then is like also a few thousand euros extra. Mm -hmm. So if he would have won, he probably would have made like 15K. Yeah just from this one competition in one year and in a lot of countries in this world you could actually live from that money yeah <clears throat> so true yeah i mean if someone has a sponsor like we would do it <laughs> again <laughs> yeah <laughs> i mean wasn't yeah. the same sponsor yeah, that you see, had maybe. for the bbu uh, wasn't he interested in doing another year i mean yeah there was not really a sponsor wow it was like our own money Like we worked together with someone who wants to like build yeah. up the whole thing too, but it's like our own money yeah. going into the prize. No I mean, also way. we got the YouTube yeah. revenue, of course, but the whole BBU, I think we lost like 10K or something. Um, yeah. That's crazy. So it was like, and yeah, all the Fresh? comments of, oh, they, oh, they made so much yeah, money yeah, off the yeah. beatbox. This is a whole scam, blah, blah, blah. Uh, they make a holiday <laughs> while they do the BBU. Like we were living in Sri Lanka. Be <laughs> you know how much living in Sri Lanka costs and how much living in Germany you costs? You had to yeah. go because the money was empty. You, you had nothing left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like we, we literally put all our money into BBU. So it's not like we are yeah. like... Come on, guys, support Shazam. They lost 10K yes. on BBU. Now, I mean, 10K just pure loss without counting in like our yeah. work yeah. or something. Yeah. Like we had to yeah, pay David, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. to do everything, the price, money. Yeah, man. If you're listening so, to this, guys, he just got verified again. Uh, support, support this poor support it. German fellow. <laughs> no, I mean, but also I want to tell you, like, if you guys want to have cool beatbox events and you want your favorite creator, because most of the creators are probably struggling financially at some point and also what most of the big beatboxes uh like have to do workshops have to do other stuff have to do corporate gigs maddox producing for like tv <laughs> mm -hmm. if you want people to like be full-time creators you have to support them by doing it yeah like just watch their videos share their videos uh yeah i mean there's a few beatbox probably making good money but it's really really a few yeah and 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 most of the times it's just for a period of time. Yeah. Not for like the I mean, Barry Run probably is not struggling right now. Yeah. Or MB14. Yeah. yeah, but there <laughs> but was once, people, a, once a time when they would struggle. And maybe, and who knows how long this will uh, yeah. keep going like this. Yeah. So if you like what artists do, and also like people who organize national championships, even worse. Yeah. Like I think Beatbox Germany is kind of slowly getting there, but it was also years and years of hard work and. True. Uh, yeah. True. And the other national champs, I don't know about Dutch champs. If you're still doing it under a bridge, no, it's, it's actually it's actually uh, <laughs> not under a bridge. Uh, thank you very much. Um, it's uh, it's uh, no, it's it's it actually was, getting good. It was, At one um, time, it was. They started. Right. Um, uh, they founded a company, uh, especially for uh, events, and they're doing two events a year. They're doing Dutch championships and like the Seven to Smoke uh, uh, beatbox beatboxers X. Uh, like uh, popping, breakdancing, like a freestyle dance, um, which are really cool. This, it is pretty pretty small battle. And then uh, the Dutch champs, which is is 
it's fine. It's not it's not as big as the as the German champs by far. But it, yeah, I think the German champ yeah. is the biggest. Yeah. Like if you compare like it's crazy. Last time it was five hundred people. More and it was sold out. It was more. It was eight hundred, I think. Wow. Eight hundred. Yeah. yeah, but it was I think Marvin could have sold like four hundred tickets more or something. Mm -hmm. Like it was sold out really, really early. And I don't know if it's Berlin or if it's Germany. But the yeah, the you guys have like really crazy. supportive people that never heard beatbox in their it's life. It's Germany, yeah. bro. It's Germany, bro. Like I even at uh, Rob uh, Robit Award, people sitting. Uh, the crowd was like maybe 120 people, but they were screaming. Yeah, German crowds bro. are good, man. I performed my theater show as it's well in Germany. Crazy. That's such a good crowd. Yeah, you guys have yeah. eight. Yeah, Germans really like to uh, listen to someone on stage and scream. <laughs> I know. <laughs> 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 what, what is this joke? I don't. I don't get it. <laughs> you don't know, like, oh, really? <laughs> Do I have to explain it? Now? You know, this one guy up on the stage who invented also the microphone. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. And screaming yeah, in front of ten thousand oh, yeah, people. Okay, yeah, makes yeah. sense. Makes sense. Yeah. Anyways, wow. I think I think this this was a good good joke to to come to an, <laughs> to, to come end. to an end. <laughs> Applause. Uh, Applause! Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. It was really, really fun. Yeah. Should, anyways, should we uh, say something clickbait is for the end? Yeah. yeah. So you can. Yeah. 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 Anyways, well, uh, well. <laughs> just say I hate sin. I think I hate sin because of what I he hate did. sin. <laughs> he stole all the BBU money yes. for himself, and he's even not a good looper. His mix. Yeah, we're gonna sucks. put this in the intro. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Beatbox, uh, for also Beatbox Bottle for posting this now on Instagram. Yeah. It's also a lot of work doing this meme account at the same time, so I want to focus more on that now. You, are you, you guys don't know, right? But in the beginning, people were like 100% sure it's it me. It makes sense. Yeah. Like, Foodbox G came to me, Kazoo came to me, it was like, I know it's you. 100%, don't even. And then I was like, showing my phone, like, look on Instagram which accounts I'm looked in. Yeah, you, you know, with your computer, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. You can't see your <laughs> computer. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> and like, then I told Foodbox G, yeah, yeah, it's me, but don't tell anyone. And he was like, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and even like, shout out, but no shout out to Vokoda. He was like, we were cool again, kind of talked about everything. Then Beatbox Bottle TV posted some shit about him. And he was like making stories, Shazams and you f nerds. So why don't you tell on your meme account, but not on your real account? Uh, it's like, what? No, it obviously is so not me. It's so hard to prove it's not like, you because nobody. <laughs> yeah, but how can I prove it's not me? But I mean, everyone who knows me knows that it's not me. Like, it, it's not quite my humor and it would be so much work but people think yeah. it's your humor and that's totally. what counts <laughs> <laughs> now you're in this shit <laughs> yeah okay anyways it's it's <laughs> anyways guys uh i don't want to i don't want to kill the vibe but we we can we, we can have we can have another talk because yeah, i really thank you for killing the vibe metals them. thanks there's there's a million so there's a million much. stories uh, i could talk yeah. about with Shazam. Yeah, maybe uh, when I have a new project, uh, yeah, can be yeah, promoted here. I'm gonna have a, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have a meeting now with, with Spider Horse for another project. Wait, what? Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, shout okay. out to Spider Horse. <laughs> um, yeah, and it's going to be. I also have a meeting with uh, someone right now, so I have to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's going to be. It's going to start in one minute, so that's why. Uh, okay. Yeah. Greetings to Spider Horse to Gene, <laughs> my favorite beatboxer. Shazam, After thank you so Nisha. much for, uh, for being with us today at Beatbox Bros, at the channel that will... Um, thank you, guys. By the way, finally, there's a Beatbox podcast that is like a yeah. real podcast. Yeah. For me, the, the Swiss Beatbox thing was more like a... Well, didn't really feel like a podcast for me, but this one is really <laughs> good. If, when Beatbox pops again, I think this will be like the... The information of, and yeah. goods, beatbox news and information. Yeah, sick. So I hope with so. big, big power comes big responsibility. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you, beatbox bottle for these words. <laughs> and uh, yeah, thanks, Shazam, uh, guys. Please support Shazam on his Instagram, on his YouTube, on his yeah. TikTok, uh, 
and I I hope BBU is going to happen again soon. Yeah, like yeah, just if someone has any connection, yeah, maybe, to, maybe like, I think maybe we need like if you're, yeah, if 30k or money, something, then we can do it. Go for it. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much. Wow, beatbox bros. All right. That was the interview with Shazam, my bro from Berlin. Uh, what, what do you think, Bart? Awesome guy, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love how every time uh, we we finish the conversation, you're like, "All right, this is uh, a <laughs> we did it, finished." <laughs> so yeah. proud of herself. No, it was great. Um, I uh, that's that's what happens when you're working together. I mean, nothing lasts forever, and uh, I think it's <laughs> I think it's great. We're yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's great yeah. that he's still doing content, and I I love to see where sin. What Sun will come up with during uh, Focal Total? Yeah, man, I'm I'm going. Man, I I didn't know. You have to clarify now. Why are you not coming? You told me you're coming to Focal <laughs> Total. It's well, I have a, a. I thought so. I thought it was a weekend after. I thought it was this twenty second. I thought that was the the weekend, right? It's this. Mm. It's the sixteenth, right? Sixteenth, seventeenth. Mm. Let me let me look it up, bro. Where's the twenty? I'm I'm confused. <laughs> Um, it's the 22nd. So, yeah, I planned something else. I thought it was the okay. weekend before. Mm, I think, I think okay. it's, uh, like, uh, um, when I checked it in the tickets, it was still from last year and they did it that weekend. And now I don't know what happened. Uh, but okay. I understand. Damn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So enjoy for so me no and, uh, you go and we'll have a, we'll have a podcast, uh, um, from you there <laughs> me me sitting in my airbnb in graz yeah. and you and you where where are you gonna I be i mean on my couch in uh, in the netherlands yeah i'll be in the netherlands yeah oh, okay okay yeah okay i'll, I'll, I'll try to yeah. go to a nice place so it looks like i'm having fun too <laughs> <laughs> yeah let's see let's see where are you beard well actually i'm here at this really cool castle <laughs> Oh, it looked like you're having fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah no. <laughs> oh man, yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, I, I think I think it was a great podcast with with Shazam. Uh, we 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 also talk a lot in person. It's it's funny. Like uh, usually we would talk in German to each other. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, so it was that makes sense. Was, you guys are both German. It was a different yeah. experience now to talk to him in English. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That's funny. Yeah, but it's 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 uh, funny like this conversation. So. Um, yeah, you can tell we're uh, uh, we're longtime friends. You know, we've seen each other at, at beatbox events so many times. We had like yeah. so much beatbox yeah, talks. Yeah, it's just different, vi right? It's just a different vibe. That, for example, with like uh, Marcus Perez, we would uh, meet him the first time. Yeah, uh, and then directly record a podcast together. Um, but with Shazam, I was working with him a long time at Swiss Beatbox. Um, after Swiss Beatbox, we did content together. We meet each other occasionally. Yeah, I think uh, that's it for, for this episode. Uh, and since you did the intro... <laughs> yeah, I'll do the outro. Oh, you'll do the outro. Yeah, okay. bro. Go for it. It's it's Sharing is caring. Guys, thank you so much for watching. This was the amazing podcast with our broski Shazam from Berlin. Uh, former member of Onichan. <laughs> if you can put it like this. Uh, they will still play sh some shows though. So don't worry, uh, they're not completely gone yet. And um, yeah, I, I think in the, in the future there probably will be some stuff still coming from these guys because look at us, we had Vonox, uh, we kind of stopped producing stuff and now we are the Beatbox Bros. Yeah. So there, there's there's always some some projects coming uh, if, if you're close friends. But anyways, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Um, if you enjoy this podcast, please give us a subscribe. I would love uh, to hear your opinion on this episode. Put some comments uh, under this video. And if you want to watch our latest podcast, was, which was with Marcus Perez, click the link right here. Uh, amazing topic about how to get successful on TikTok, uh, how Marcus Perez was uh, successful on Vine. And um, if you want to find out how, what a humble and perfectionist person this is, click the link. Right support now. us on Patreon. Thank you, guys. And, and support us on Patreon. Yeah. Goodbye.